Let's get ready to rumble! الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أيه جوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني اذا كان محصنا يرجم اذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق اذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد اذا ارتد يقتل اذا تاب من الرده يترك ان هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل ان فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول او سب الله جل وعلا او كذا فانه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لاجل ان نغصبه على الاسلام الاسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقه يعني يصير مسلم ولا ذبح ناكل لكن لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكف... أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه و يقول لا هذا قبل والاسلام لا يدعو الى هذا، لا كن كن قويا في دينك، اظهر دينك. نعم هذا ديني، نعم. الذي لا يرضى ان يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فانه يستعبد او يدفع الجزيه او يدخل في الاسلام او يقاتل. ه- هذه الاحوال الاربعه ابدا لا يوجد حال خامس. لذا اول ما يدعى الانسان يدعى الاسلام، يقال له اعبد ال- اعبد الله تبارك وتعالى. الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض ان يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الامر بالنسبه للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وتعالى وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون ان يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون امر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون. And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. Nothing, boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. Wallahi, every single land, every single country. Wallahi. With all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, wallahi, every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet. Every 
every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, Do the, water. the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Hello, we are live on air. Welcome everybody. The water, man. <laughs> this, this guy, man, there's something wrong with, it, with this dude, man. man they, they give you a nice glass of water and that's what you do to the water, man. What's, what's wrong with you, man? I hope you took out your umbrellas, guys, because of all the spitting of Mimi Hijab. Welcome everybody. God bless you. God bless your families. We are live on air. Welcome. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday I was on Christian Prince, his live show, guys. I was in, sitting in the live chat and I saw that our dear brother Christian Prince uh, was having a lot of issues with, with his internet connection. And, you know, I was like, let me put a question in the live chat uh, on Christian Prince, like... Should we do also a live show about these people, you know, these two kids, Daoud Kim and uh, Rashido? You know, and uh, some people said, yeah, do it, man, you know, you should do it because, you know, uh, why not? You know, just to show that these poor victims who call themselves new converts to this cult, show you that these guys have no, they have nothing, man. They don't know what Islam is. They have no idea why they become uh, Muslims, right? I mean, uh, do you think these kids have anything? Any knowledge about Islam? No. So some uh, some people said, yeah, please Rob, maybe you should, uh, you know, you should do a live show about it. So I was like, okay, no problem. You know, your wish is my command. I'm here only to serve, right guys? I'm only here to serve. So... Uh, let us do this, guys. Let us do this. Welcome. God bless you. God bless your families. Today's topic is about these two kids that you see here. Uh, two converts to Islam. This guy, Daud Kim, and Rashido. That's what he calls himself. This guy has a, around 2 million subscribers. Imagine, 2 million subscribers. So he's doing a lot of damage in Korea, right? A lot of damage. And this guy just came around with his brother. He, he has a YouTube channel with his brother. And they're doing actually a lot of damage. You know, they are spreading misinformation about the true face of Islam. I mean, compared to these two kids that you're going to see, compare them, you know, with the ones that you saw earlier in the intro introduction video. You saw the Sheikh, you saw the other Sheikh, compare their behavior, their way of talking about Islam, and the spitting Cobra Mimi Hijab and his... Uh, uh, you know, his sister, uh, Ali Dawa, his nurse, compare their behavior with these two. Now, those are the real Muslims, not you. Uh, Daud Kim and Rashido, with all due respect, do you have anything, do you have any knowledge about Islam? You call yourself converts to Islam. Have you any idea, anything about Islam? Do you know when, when you took your Shahada? Do you know that... When you're going to leave Islam, let's say, you know, you get tired of this death cult, this hate cult, who calls Jews and Christians the worst of creatures and nudges and, you know, whatnot, filthy, di disgusting, dirty. Did they tell you when you took your Shahada that if you leave Islam, that they are allowed to kill you if you become apostates, Mr. Daud, Kim and Rashido? I doubt. I doubt. Uh, Christians, Christians, if you love me, if you love me as your brother in Christ, please, please, don't allow this video, this live show to go in vain, please. You need to spread this video like wildfire, you know. Post the link uh, of this live show in their YouTube channel and let them see if, if we can get an answer. I, I know Christian Prince succeeded because of you guys. I mean, I know Christian Prince didn't do it. You did it, guys. And uh, we saw that Daud Kim, he responded, right? So guys, do what you have to do, man. You know, if Christians, guys, let, let's, let us be honest. If Christians, if you Christians, 
Christians who are watching, any Christian, if Christians would not have been lazy, Islam would have died long time ago. And I'm sure if all the Christians unite and they want to do something about Islam, Islam will die in a couple of months, man. I won't give it longer than two years. Honest, honest to God. But Christians, let's be honest. We Christians are lazy. Be honest with yourselves, guys. Be honest. Right? Be honest. We, we Christians are lazy, man. Guys, I'm not asking you to teach like Christian Prince. I'm not asking you to teach like David Wood. Make videos like... No. Do what you gotta do. Everybody today in 2020 can make a YouTube channel. You can download videos. I mean, there are tons of websites. Just Google it. How to download YouTube uh, videos. Download the YouTube videos, upload them, share, share, share our videos with, with the World Wide Web, right? Uh, excuses, I work 10 hours a day. I mean, come on, my, my friends. I have a full-time ministry. Guys, watch. I have a full-time ministry. I work. I have a pregnant wife. I have my personal life. I have my family and friends. And I'm here ev almost every day with you. What kind, of, what, what kind of excuses are those guys? Come on. Come on, man. And uh, and if you're you're afraid, if you are afraid as a Christian, uh, then don't live as a Christian. To be honest with you, I mean, uh, don't even try to walk on the streets on the trottoir because uh, a car or a, a bicycle might hit you in the back, man. That's the risk of life, man. You you're going to expose Islam. You have to, you know, you're a Christian. You're going to get persecuted. You, they are going to insult you. I mean, uh, you, the amount of death threats and insults that I get on daily basis. You have, you, have, you have no idea, guys. You have no idea. But I'm not scared. Look, I'm here. I'm here with you. I'm not scared of this cult. I don't care if, I, if they kill me. It will be an honor. I mean, not, I'm not better than Stephen himself. The first Christian martyr, man. Stephen died. And he said, please, Jesus, forgive them. They don't know what they do. I'm not better than him. If that's what is holding you back, then don't do it. You know, someone told me, guys, 15 years ago, I kid you not. Someone told me 15 years ago, Rob Christian, if you're going to create your own YouTube channel, if you're going to <clears throat> do what you're going to do on Paul Talk, then don't do it if you're afraid. Don't do, don't do it if you're afraid. Because if it, that's going to be the thing, then uh, don't even start, right? If you are too scared as a Christian to expose this man-made cult, this hate mafia cult of Muhammad, then, you know, don't, 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 don't do it, right? Right? Don't do it. If fear is the thing that drives you. So, guys, if you love me, if you help me, if you want me to help you, help me to help you, do what you gotta do. Please, Christian, stop being lazy. I mean, these two kids, this guy was a nobody. He was, uh, you know, he was he was a singer, if I'm not mistaken. He was a nobody. You know, he he failed at singing. He, his career didn't work out. The moment he took his shahada, uh, his YouTube channel became uh, the number one YouTube channel maybe in in Korea. Man, he has two million subscribers because because he became a Muslim, not because of uh, his singing uh, qualities. Same for this kid, man. He, Look at these kids, man. They're kid children, man. Uh, yeah, guys, you can find you can find their um, YouTube channels. I put them in the description box. All right, click on the description box and you will see Daud Kim Rashido, and I also put the the, uh, the Imam of uh, Korea, and we're going to mention him too. Abdullah Al Kuri. That means Abdullah the Korean Al Kuri. So we're going to spank him too today. So guys, I have a lot of. Uh, Bombs again, you know, we will always drop bombs. So if you want to spread our videos, do what you got to do. You have the links. It's in the description box. Rob Christian, I have no time. I work 10 hours a day. Come on, my friend. Come on. God bless you, man. But don't be lazy, man. I'm not asking you to teach. Guys, anyway, let us start. Let us start. We'll start with this kid here that you see. Rashido, this kid, uh, and his brother. And we will continue then later with Daud Kim. So let me <clears throat> put my headsets on. Make sure to put your headsets on to focus to what they are saying. And we will continue from there. All right, guys? Let us see if I can find the video. Let's see. Let's see. I think I got it. 
Why? Let us start. All right, so these are the two kids, guys. Rashido and his uh, brother Saido. <laughs> Look at the names, man. And the title of the video is Strike Your Wife. Beat Your Wife If She Doesn't Obey You. So that's the topic that they're talking about. These kids, they are now acting like scholars. Uh, I mean, this, this, this is the owner of the YouTube channel, right? Of this YouTube channel. And he became a, a Muslim like three months, four months ago. And he's going to explain uh, the beating of women in Islam. I mean, really? <laughs> Guys, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even trying. But I'm, I'm showing you the ignorance of these people, man. I'm going to show you the ignorance of these people, alright? Yeah, the wife beating verse, they are going to explain it, guys. Alright, so let us... So let us see if we can uh, help these poor victims. They are nothing but victims of this man-made cult. So let us uh, see if we can shake them up, if, if we can wake them up for, from the deception that they have been uh, gone through, right? But before we're going to do that, guys, but before we're going to, you know me, we always start with a nice prayer, right, guys? So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so our live show can be blessed. Pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. And Lord, thank you for your grace. We believe that Jesus is risen, and risen is he indeed. al Masih qam, haqqan qam, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death, from eternal death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always here to support our work, our full-time ministry day in, day out for the last year. Please bless them, their loved ones and families. God, keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this evil coronavirus. And Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts and actions. And please give us a measure of your strength and knowledge so that by not give into discouragement, any taqiyya, deception, makr, any lies or any doubt, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including Muslims like these two poor souls, these Korean people who have been duped by the evil cult, the deception of Islam. Please shine your holy light on them too, so they can be saved like we are saved through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The name above all names. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame. And Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. We are live on air. Today we'll have the opportunity to understand how poor Korean people are being duped and fooled by this man-made cult, which made them a convert or converts to Islam. On top of that, guys, anything that we can find in the Islamic sources will be used again, the fake prophet of Islam, Muhammad, in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is not asleep again and he's going to be his personal attorney during today's hearing to defend his prophet in the court of law. Uh, we'll see if we're going to open Skype, guys, if we have Muslims, let, I'm asking them, the admins, if we have Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge to call us, please let me know, highlight my name, and we will open Skype only for the Muslims, guys. If you're a Christian, you cannot call us, alright? You have to wait as a Christian. So if there are Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge, who wants to have a respectful dialogue with me, a respectful discussion with me, Go ahead, my Skype ID is DROP Christian and tell the admins and the admins will tell me, highlight my name, that there is a Muslim in the live chat who thinks he can refute me. All right. Let me first say hello to, to our friends, uh, you know. Ziad Kurd, welcome. Uh, who says he admitted that the Bible has changed? Yeah, yeah, okay. The Bi Bible is not the topic of today, Abdul. Tamara, iPhone 3G, we are blessed, admins, TM Crosspulse, Phil Herrera, Carolina. All of you uh, admins, keep our admins in your prayers, guys. 
Sneller Sam, Eli Nee, Cesar P, Andrew Martin, King Christ, Mutant Roshi, hello, Reyes Kurishim, another D admin, how are you my friend, God bless you. People gave me a, uh, a super chat before we already start. Thank you so much for your donation and support, guys. God bless you. Trinity Production, hi. Peter the Wall, how are you, my friend? Joe Ranger, Kryptonite, Andrew Martin, I mentioned you already, right? Sandra, Nim Grace, Flying Horse. Wow, there are many people today, man. Amazing. Sunil Sunny, how are you, my friend? Cheeseburger, present. How are you? Man, you're making me hungry with your name, man. V. Lee, how are you, sister? How are you? Uh, Marcus Stembeck. All of you guys, even if I didn't mention your name, sorry for that. There are many of you. But God bless you anyways. Thank you for being here. Let us start. Let us start. Let me put my headset on again. And... We'll take it from there. I got this with Rashid. Oh, Rashid. Said, oh, Said, oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? To a new opinion, you have to have a new opinion. I 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 have to have a new opinion. 건전한 여성은 헌신적으로 남성을 따를 것이며 남성이 부재시 남성의 명예와 자신의 순결을 보호할 것이라 순종치 아니하고 품행이 단정치 못하다고 생각되는 여성에게는 먼저 충고를 하고 그 다음에는 잠자리를 같이 하지 말며 셋째로는 가볍게 때려줄 것이다. 그러니 다시 순종할 수 없는 경우는 그들이 해로운 어떤 수단에도 강구하지 말라. 진실로 하나님이 가장 위대하시니라. 때리라고 하는 게 이게 여성을 때리는 건 솔직히 좀 약간 잘못된 거예요. 이렇게 이렇게 하나님 비딩 브라다. 그래서 이 구절에 대해서 내가 조사를 좀 해봤지. Guys, he's going to explain. 역시 사람이 공부를 해야 되더라고. 일단은 이슬람에서는 하나님께서 아내들에게 지정 해주시는 의무들이 있거든. 근데 이 의무들을 제대로 수행하지 않았을 때는 이 상황을 뉴 슈즈라고 그래. 뉴 슈즈. 그 의무가 뭐가 있냐면은. 일단은 첫 번째로 자녀를 돌보지 않거나 어. 뭐 배우자가 어. 찬성하지 어. 않는 사람을 어. 집안에 이렇게 드리는 거지. 음. 쿠란에서 첫 번째로 따뜻한 말로 조언을 먼저 하라고 나와 있어. 먼저 먼저 이렇게 조언을 어, 하고, 조언을 하고 좋은 말로 조언을 하고 두 번째는 uh -huh. 이제 별거를 해서 따로 사는 거지 일단. 음. 그래도 이제 말을 안 들어. 음. 그러면은 마지막에 때리라고 나와 있거든. 음. 근데 이제 때리는 강도가 이제 어느 정도냐 이게 이게 관건이잖아. 이게 정신. Wait wait. So uh, you became a Muslim to to strike your wife? Is that it? I mean, look at this kid, man. You think a woman uh, would accept uh, to be beaten by this? Look, uh, this tiny kid. He's a tiny kid, man. I think his wife is going to to beat him instead of him beating her. Anyway. So only only tapper, brother. Tapper. <laughs> yeah, don't smash your head, brother. Any woman who wants to be beaten by. A kid like this guy? Any any Muslim woman who who would allow her husband to be beaten like? Uh, imagine your husband. Your this is your husband, brother. Look look at this cutie pie, man, and his brother, man. They're cute kids, man. And you're going to allow them to beat you because you you don't want to listen to them. I mean, really? Brother, tap, brother, on the shoulders, brother. Tap, tap. What ribuna means? Tap on the shoulders, brother. 내가 하는 것처럼 그냥 이렇게 딱 건드리는 수준. Like this, brother. Look, look, tick, tick, tick. You know? This reminds me, you know, when we were kids and we were running after another. What do you call the game again? I forgot the name. You know? It's you, right? It's your turn. That's how you beat your wife, brother. What ribuna strike them becomes, you know, only with you know, tick, tick. You know? Like a chicken, brother. Chicken. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it, brother. That, that, that's how you build a wife, brother. I'm doing what you're getting ever since I did. You're not so young. In quality, I'm out of the job. How did you say? I'm not getting it. Oh, don't tell me. Chris. So that's it. I'm not getting it. So what don't you know? Let me know. Hey, brother. I'm not going to be a pony. I'm getting so. You beat her like that, brother. 옷을 제공해 주며 때리지 말고 나쁜 말을 쓰지 말라고 나와 있어 여자들한테. 그 다음에 여자. Guys, guys, are you sure this 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 guy is not gay? We know what happens to gay people in Islam, right? This 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 is a man. 
친절하게 행동하라는 또 그런 하디스 있고 한 번만 더 비스 이어 누구도 이렇게 손으로 Guys look how they are acting they are they are making it as if it's a tickling a game you know tap her brother tap her like this brother you know you know Brother, beating a woman, it's a, it's a funny game, brother. Look, they are making joke, a joke out of it, man. 때린 적이 없대. 아, 게다가 이제 지옥문이 열렸을 때 그는 노예나 여자를 uh -huh. 한 번도 때린 적이 없다 그래. 그러니까 우리가 이슬람을 따라간다면... I, I'm not sure. These guys... This, this video has 40,000 40, views. Can you imagine? How, how, you, know, you know, this tells me something about the, 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 the brain-damaged Muslims who support these kind of people. You must be brain damaged to support such kind people. But anyway, let, let us continue. My goodness, exactly. 는 선지자 무함마드 피스비 어폰 힘 님을 잘 따라가는 거기 때문에 우리도 한 명도 뭐 사람을 때리면 안 되겠지 한 사람도. 근데 때리는 거 자체가 문제가 있는 거. 여성들 노인들은 절대 때리면 안 돼. 요즘에는 이제 여성이 이제 인권이 많이 올라갔잖아. 많이 존중되고 있는 상태라서 이제 여성도 함부로 때릴 수 없다는 거지. 여자건 남자건 서로 서로 때리면 안 돼. 존중해주고 권리가 있기. Uh, can a wife beat you? If you, let's say one day you get yourself a nice Muslima, is she allowed to beat you too, brother? Or only you? And why only, why only you can beat your wife, brother? Huh? Look at the glasses, man. I want such glasses when, uh, you know. Uh, you know I, um, I might go check my eyes, man. Look, look at cutie pies, man. Uh, should we ask your wife to beat you too, brother? Who gives you the right to be the woman, man? If you beat a dog on the streets, they will put you in jail here in the United States, man. Who, who gives you the authority to be the woman in 2020, man? Are you, are you an idiot or what? You want to follow rules of an Arabian illiterate desert, right? Between uh, sheep and uh, goats. And you want that to implement it today in 2020? Really? Which, what, which woman would allow a husband to beat her in 2020, man. I mean, if you beat a dog, they will put you in jail. What about a woman, man? I mean, look, women in Islam, brother, they are like diamonds, bro. Like a diamond in the sky. Ooh. A woman is a diamond in the sky in Islam, brother. Look at you guys. A diamond in the sky. It's a joke, brother. Guys, guys, is this a man? Is this a man, brother? Is this a man, brother? Where's the dude, brother? I'm reading the books of the most important things in the book of the most important things that I'm reading in the book of the most important things. I'll teach you that again and I'll teach you that again. Then I'll wait for you. <웃음> 뭘 아, 기다리냐고 네. 자꾸만 <웃음> 너도 읽어야지 아 읽어야지 어. 읽어야지 그럼 오늘 여기까지 하고 다음 음. 편견에 대해서 또 파헤쳐 보자고 다음 음. 편견은 be, be the woman with the toothbrush brother 어려운 게 uh, silly kids man kids man you, you have anything any idea what Islam is all about uh, children Rashido Rashido uh, I hope my video will reach you I hope that our Christians you are watching they are not going to be lazy today and I hope that my live show is not going to go in vain. So our Christian friends, you have a job to do. You have a job, Christians. If you call yourself Christians, do something. All right? Do something. Don't allow our video to go in vain because we are going to bring down the hammer, guys. Come on. So let our video reach these people, okay? Don't allow poor victims, Korean victims like these people to be duped by the hate cult the death cult, the cult of Islam, to become victims of this cult. They are deceived, man. They have no idea what Islam is all about, man. They are clowns. They're kids. Duped by Islam, man. So let us, let us actually bring down the hammer, guys. Let us do this. All right. The beating of women in Islam. The beating of women in Islam, brother. Any, any Muslima who would allow in 2020 uh, her husband to beat her up? Now guys, let us go to the Muslim sources, right? Let us go to the Muslim sources, okay? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 5825. Narrated Ikrama, narrated Ikrama. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih, Sahih, Bukhari 5825. A... 
Sahabi divorced his wife, whereupon this guy and this guy married her. So a guy divorced his wife and another man married her. Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil. Let us see if uh, this Sahabi, I mean these are the Sahaba, these, these, these are the first generation of Muslims who, who, who ate with Muhammad, who stood with Muhammad, who sit with Muhammad, right? So Aisha said that the lady, a Muslim lady, right? This woman that was married again, she was wearing a green veil, guys. And she came to complain to Aisha. So this woman came to complain to Aisha. I hope, I hope uh, Rashidu and Saidu are watching and we'll see this video late, later. If you Christians do your homework and spread our videos. So a, a woman, this woman who is wearing a green veil, she came to a complain to Aisha of her husband and she showed Aisha a green spot on her skin caused by beating. Now guys, I'm sure this is because of the toothbrush, brother, from the miswak, brother. I mean, a uh, miswak can do huge damage, man. Uh, uh, tap, tap him with the tooth, toothbrush, brother. With the miswak, brother. And this, you know, when you tap a woman with a miswak, she will get green uh, areas, green spots on her skin because, you know, you, you, you tap, tap, brother. It's only a toothbrush, brother. So this woman, she was beaten to a pulp. Do you see it? Her, even her skin became more green than her veil. And it's, it was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah, Allah's messenger Muhammad came, Aisha said, I have not seen. Look what Aisha, the mother of the believer said. This is the baby bride of, of Muhammad, right? I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. No ultimate donkey, you cannot call me, you're a waste of time. You're not, you're not a Muslim. I'm not going to waste my time with you. Bring me a real Muslim, all right? Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. You know why ultimate donkey? You know why? Because you reject Hadith, right? You reject Sahih al-Bukhari, so it's, it's, you're a waste of time. So look, her skin is greener than her clothes. I mean, uh, I'm sure be that's because of the miswak, right? They call it the miswak or siwak, right? I mean, uh, that uh, what kind of toothbrush uh, is this guy using, man? What kind of toothbrush was this husband of her using? Uh, I think this was a triple X X X. XXX sized toothbrush, brother. I mean, this guy must have a big teeth, man. Huge teeth. I mean, look at the damage on her skin, man. What kind of toothbrush are you using, man? Yeah, XXX, triple XXX size toothbrush. I mean, this, I think this guy was a horse. Guys, I think the husband was a horse. Because, I mean, don't tell me a toothbrush can uh, turn your skin uh, to green. You know, look what it says. Look, Aisha say Aisha is shocked. Guys, Aisha, the mother of the believers, is shocked. I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. I mean, tap, tap, brother. I must be a giant too, bro. I, I think this guy has, uh, you know, teeth like uh, that of a horse, man. Maybe of that uh, crocodile. Allahu alam, brother. What kind of Sahabi this guy was. Who ate her with the toothbrush, brother? Brother, this is Sahih Bukhari, brother. You see it? Sahih Bukhari, brother. And instead of Muhammad, guys, instead of Muhammad, you know, instead of uh, punishing the guy for beating the hell out of his woman, Muhammad uh, even, even actually defended her husband. You know what he said to her? To, his, to her husband? Instead of punishing him for beating the hell out of his wife, for turning her screen, her skin, skin, sorry, and skin to green, right? Like her veil, like her, like her dress. He said, no, you know, you have to, uh, you know, you have to obey your husband and let him taste your juice, brother. Taste your, taste your juice. Instead of telling him, what have you done, man? Shame on you. You are beating your wife to a bloody pulp, 
Her skin is turn, turning green because of the beating. He said to her, no, you have to obey your husband and let him, let him go and taste your juice. Right? This is here. Hatta, guys, hatta yaduqa min asilatiki. That means he must taste your juice. And the translation is really ugly, man. You know, the translation doesn't even say that. He must taste her juice, brother. Yeah. Taste what? The juice of the woman, brother. You know, the, the woman, she wanted to divorce, right? You can read the hadith. Let me give you the entire hadith. I'm not going to read it. It's a very long hadith. But you can read it yourself. Guys, use it. And you will see that this wife wanted to divorce. You know, she wanted to go back to her first husband. Right? It's unlawful for you. It's unlawful for you to remarry your father unless he has sexual intercourse with you. And actually the Arabic says, you, he, he must taste your uh, juice, brother. You have to, you have to, yeah, as if tomato juice will come out of her fijay, brother. Taste the juice, brother? Yes. I hope we have Arabic speaking uh, Muslims or maybe Christians who won't confirm. Yeah, look, put it, put it uh, in a, you know, a good translator and you'll see what this means. Right? Taste your juice. He must taste your juice first, else you, uh, yeah, you're not, you cannot go back to your first husband. Right? Look at the amazing advice of Muhammad. Instead of punishing the, the husband who is beating his wife to a bloody pulp, Turning her skin into green, right? And even Aisha, Aisha was shocked, right guys? Look, Aisha saying, her skin is greener than her clothes. Tap her with a toothbrush, brother. And, and these two silly kids, these two, these kids want to explain Islam to us, brother? And what about Aisha, guys? What about Aisha herself? Guys, what about Aisha herself? Guys, let's say, let's say Rob Christian is lying. Guys, let's say Rob Christian is lying. What about the Prophet of Islam himself? What about the Prophet of Islam himself? What did Muhammad do? Sahih Muslim book number four, hadith number 2127, 2127. He, the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi there's nothing called peace be upon him. It's Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah is praying on him, hastened his steps, and also I hastened my steps. So this is talking about Aisha. You know, the story goes like this. Muhammad goes outside in the dark. Aisha is going after him. She wants to know. She wants to spy about on her husband. So, you know, she's following him. And then Muhammad notices that something, someone is spying on him. Someone is, is uh, you know, following him. And then Muhammad comes back and he hastens his step. And I also hasten my step, Aisha saying, he ran and I too ran. He came to the house and I also came to the house, Aisha saying. I, however, Aisha, preceded him and I entered the house. And as I lay down in the bed, he, there's nothing called Holy Prophet. This is false translation, by the way, guys. You know, remember, there's nothing called Holy in Islam. Not Holy Prophet. Remember the Sheikh? The Quran is unholy. Muhammad is unholy, remember? So, uh, Muhammad entered the house and he said, why is it, O oh Aisha, that you are out of breath? Muhammad is asking. Because she was running, right? He noticed someone is following him. So she, she was running to her house. So he will not find out that she was following him. I said, Aisha said, guys, I, are you with me, guys? Please let, don't allow Muslims to, you know, to distract you. So Aisha said, there is nothing, Aisha saying. So she's denying, she's lying to Muhammad. I mean, guys, look, Aisha, the mother of the believers, the wife of Muhammad is lying to the prophet of Islam. Can you imagine? The wife of Muhammad is lying to her, to her husband. She's denying that she was following him. Wow. He said, tell me or the subtle and the aware will inform me. So Muhammad said, if you don't tell me, you know, basically in a nutshell, Allah Jibreel will inform me about what you did. Then Aisha said, messenger of Allah, may my father and mother be ransomed for you. And then I told him the whole story, how she was spying on him, following him in the dark. He said, now look the response of Muhammad, guys. This is Muhammad, guys. I mean, you Muslims obey Muhammad at all times, right, Muslims? He said, Muhammad said, was it the darkness of your shadow? 
It was you, uh, Aisha, who was spying on me. That I saw in front of me, Aisha. It was you, huh? Ah, ah, Muhammad said, it was you. I know now. Aha. Uh -huh. And then Aisha says, yes, it was me. And do, look what Muhammad does. Guys, look what Muhammad is, uh, does. He struck me on the chest, which caused me pain. He struck me on the chest which caused me pain, Aisha saying, right? فَلَهَدْنِي لَهَدَةٌ أَوْجَعَتْنِي Aisha saying in Arabic. So he, he struck her in, in her chest. And this is, not a, this is not a push, brother. This is, this is causing pain. I mean, if I'm going to push you, I'm not going to cause you pain, brother. So Muhammad, you know, he made a fist and he gave her a box in her chest, man which caused her pain, she's having pain. And this is Muhammad. Did Muhammad, guys, question? Rashido, brother, you said it's a toothbrush, brother. Do you think Muhammad used a toothbrush, brother? He, he struck Aisha in the chest with a toothbrush, brother? With a maswak, brother? No, he struck me on the chest, brother. Lahdatun awja'atni, Aisha saying. It caused me pain. So he hurt her with his entire box. He was boxing her, man. He was giving her some boxing lessons. Yeah, with a small toothbrush, brother. I mean, this is the prophet of Islam. Uh, do we have any Muslim who wants to defend this prophet, guys? Someone wants to say, Rab Kishin, you're lying? Any Muslim? My Skype, uh, I can't open my Skype, guys. Let me open my Skype. Only for the Muslims, guys. Not for the Christians for now. Any Muslim? Any Muslim? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Any Muslim who wants to call us live on air? Okay, no Muslim yet. Okay. So Muhammad, I think guys, Muhammad forgot to use a toothbrush here. He was giving Aisha some boxing lessons inside her chest, brother. Pow! Ow! Aisha saying, it caused me pain, brother. Any any Muslim? Any Muslim? No Muslim. Okay. We'll continue. As long as there is no Muslim, we will continue. Guys, let me show you that Rob Christian is not lying. I'm going to play a video for you. I'm going to play a video for you by a Muslim Sheikh who is going to confirm how Aisha was beaten by her husband Muhammad. Watch. Put on your headsets, guys. To show you that I'm not lying and he's going to confirm what I said. Watch. Just confirmation, right? Because, you know, I don't want Muslims to call us liars, right? Watch. <laughs> Yasser al-Habib. This guy is called Yasser al-Habib. Let me give you the link. Regarding when the Messenger of Allah hurt Aisha with his head. Do you see it? Look, he's making a fist. Guys, this is a sheikh. This is a sheikh. This is not a rob Christian. Yeah, don't say Rob Kishin, you're lying. This is a sheikh confirming. And he's going to read the Arabic as I read the Arabic. He's, the, he's, he's mentioning the same report, right? Same hadith. Uh, uh, Look, he's giving the reference. Look how many reports. Zainab, Zainab, you don't want to learn how uh, Muhammad beat Aisha, you, you idiot. Sorry, I'm not trying to insult any, uh, anyone, but Zainab, hey, go asleep. You, 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 you can't handle the truth. Go, just go, just go, just go. You know, the truth is not for everybody. She, she can't handle the truth that it's reported everywhere that Muhammad beat Aisha with a fist. Zainab, yeah, clearly you stay, stay like a sheep. It's good for you. Islam is good for you. Stay, stay, stay like a sheep. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Guys, Sahih Muslim. Look. Look. 
قالت لما كانت ليلتي التي كان فيها النبي So it was the day of Aisha, right? In her house. It was the day of Aisha. Remember, every wife gets a day. He's going to go outside, right? He's going to, as I said to you. Okay. 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 So Muhammad is putting on his clothes and his uh, sandals. Opens the door, is going to go away. Okay. He wants he wants to go outside, Muhammad. So Muhammad wants to see if his wife is asleep and he wants to go outside. Watch. Ah. Look, he wants to go outside without his wife though. Allahu alam what he's going to do, right? Maybe go sleep with a goat or a, another wife. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Uh, she's going to spy on Muhammad. She's going, I imagine, why would you spy on Muhammad as, your, as a wife? Sneak upon him, yeah, exactly. She wants to know what Muhammad is doing. Watch, guys, please notice, notice what is happening. Uh -huh. Okay, so she, he didn't, he didn't know that she was, uh, you know, look, to see who this woman is. Uh, see? Uh-huh. فسبقته فدخلت. آه. she entered the house back before he him right. طجعت جئت مرة أخرى وطجعت. yeah the first spy in Islam exactly. فقال ما لك يا عائش حشية. آه why are you so breathing heavily عائشة. يعني مثل حالة الإنسان الذي فيه رابو يتنفس بصعوبة وهو منتفخ الباطن منتفخ الصدر. Yeah. He's explaining, right? She was, she was running, you know? <laughs> yeah, because she was running. Yeah. Why are you breathing heavily, Aisha? So she's denying, she's lying to the Prophet. Uh, she's lying. Uh, she must be taught a lesson. <laughs> like a dog. She, she needs a lesson like a dog. She's a dog, brother. You know, guys. Didn't Daud Kim, uh, you know, last time, Daud Kim said, hey, women are diamonds, brother. Look how is Muhammad is going to treat her like a, the dog she is. Wow, can you imagine, guys? Aisha is going to be beaten like a dog. Watch. He's going to teach Aisha a lesson. Watch how. Uh, guys, guys, Muslims in the chat, uh, you know, they are now tr being triggered. Are you noticing how much Muslims are being triggered? Rob Christian is afraid to debate uh, Farid. Farid, give, ask your brother Farid to come and debate me. And we know his career is already ended. We spanked him. And if Farid has any shame, any dignity, he's going to go to Mecca and smooch the black stones, give her a lick or two, you know, kiss some kisses. You know, because the, the the amount of spanking that we gave him the last two days, it's it's enough for one whole year. So if Farid has any dignity in him left, let him delete his YouTube channel because his career has been ended by Rob Christian. Right? We know Muslims, you Muslims, you are triggered because you know your f boyfriend Farid, right? His career is ended. He's spanked. He's served for everybody to see. So we know, guys, you know, we know why you're triggered. We know. Let us continue. Aisha lied. Okay. Yeah. Guys, look he's how he's going, going to discipline her. How Muhammad is going to beat the hell out of Aisha. Okay. بشاعة فعل عائشة هنا لم يتحمل 
So Muhammad could not hold himself back. Uh, uh, guys, guys, do you see it? Not a light hit, but a hit that hurt her. Do you see it? And Muslims say, you know, you are you're not allowed to to uh, hurt a woman when you beat her. Use only a miswak, brother, a toothbrush, brother. Did Muhammad use a toothbrush? No. Watch. Not guys, not a light hit, but a hit that hurt Aisha to discipline her like a dog she is. وَإِنَّمَا ضَرْبَةً أَوْجَعَتْهَا Wow! أَوْجَعَتْهَا قَالَ مَا لَكِ يَا عَارِشُ حَشْيَا رَابِيَهَا قَالَتْ قُلْتُ لَا شَيْءَ Denying, lying to قَالَ لَتُخْبِرِينِي أَوْ لِيُخْبِرَنِي أَوْ لِيُخْبِرَنِّي اللَّطِيفُ الْخَبِيرُ yeah. Uh, he's, he's reading your Sunni sources, Muslims. Dalili, idiot, idiot. Dalili. This Shia Sunni is reading your Sunni Muslims. He's reading from Sahih Muslim, you idiot. He's reading from Sahih Muslim. Idiot. He's not reading, guys, he's not reading Shia uh, sources. He's, he's reading Sunni Sahih Muslim source, right? From Sahih Muslim. Idiot. You're the dark, you know, you, you were the shadow that I saw. He's explaining, guys. Then he knocked me a knock on my chest that hurt me. Look at the boxing, man. He's giving her boxing lessons. Wow. Look, look, he's smiling. And look, look. 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 This is Prophet of Islam, brother, using a toothbrush with his hand. Yeah. <laughs> These are Muslims, right? Books. Books. Books, brother. Pow, brother. Books. What? What did he say? Books. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله شنو سوى؟ بوكس برادا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله شنو سوى؟ Look at the fist in her chest بوكس وبوكس قوي بحيث هي تصرح تقول A powerful box brother Powerful brother I mean عائشة you know maybe she was a big woman I don't know brother She you know she needed boxing lessons man to be disciplined Like a dog عائشة was a dog This is why Muhammad needed to discipline her brother Right? Like a box. Box, brother. جعتني. Powerful. Oh, jaatni. Hurt me. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's tradition, brother. It's good. Sahih. So we need to hurt Aisha today. <laughs> Do you see it, guys? I mean, this is Sheikh, brother. Watch, guys, watch. We have to hurt Aisha today. <laughs> she, she's an infidel because she's lied guys they are honest she lied Aisha lied to Muhammad and Muhammad needed to discipline her like the dog she is he needed to use his fist right uh, where's the toothbrush I think Muhammad he left his toothbrush with the other ladies uh, in their houses right he forgot his toothbrush and he used his fist instead brother uh, brother, toothbrush, brother. Where, where's the toothbrush, brother? Here in the story, brother. Brother, brother, stop, brother. No, what? Uh, you and what army would force me to stop, Mister Elfinur? Are you triggered, brother? Stop it, please. Don't expose our prophet, brother. The boxing. I mean, I think, guys, Muhammad was the Muhammad Ali, right? But Muhammad Ali of his time, brother. He invented boxing, brother, and he used his fist in uh, inside Aisha, brother. Pow! Brother? So guys, he's quoting Sunni Muslims. Look what he's saying. They don't know what is... So look, he's, he's, he's talking about the Sunni Muslims. They don't know what is in their books. Do you see it, guys? Muslim Sunni, Sunni Muslims, they don't know what's in their books. Mr. Uh, uh, Rashido, Rash, Rashido. Do you know what's inside your books, Rashido? He's smiling, of course, he's Shia, right? 
كمثال على أنه نحن نريدهم أن يلتفتوا إلى ما هو موجود في what is, what is inside their Sunni books they don't know this they don't know that Muhammad beat the hell of, out of Aisha they don't know Aisha was you know Sunni Muslims you know he at the same time he you know she you know what the, the Shia this, this guy is a Shia and he's spanking the Sunnis right who do not know what is inside their books this is Sahih Muslim guys did you catch it? I like it, you know, when he says the box, brother. This is the chest. Look, look, brother. Wow. It becomes a fist. Box, box brother. Box. Pow, brother. Yeah, brother. This is the Prophet, brother. This is the Sunnah of the Prophet, brother. This is the tradition of the Prophet, brother. Books and Talia'aisha fi sadriha. You know, it's so cute when he says books. Books. Aujaatni. Aujaatni. It hurt me. Aujaaha. Books, brada. Darban. Wa taba'an sunnah. Mr. Abdullah. Abdullah, you. Anger, anger, Abdullah, you. Kal hadha kathab. Let's see who's the kathab. Ya kathab ibn kathab. You are the kathab ibn kathab. You, see, you know why? You are the liar, son of a liar. Do you know why, my friend? Because this is in your book, man. Do you see it? This is Sahih Muslim, idiot. Who is lying? You or him? He is only reading what it says. Aisha said, he struck me on the chest which caused me to pain. He's quoting your Sunni uh, sources, you idiot. Who are you calling a uh, Kazab? Kazab ibn Kazab is you, you uh, idiot. Muhammad was using Aisha like a boxing uh, doll, right? What do you call it? A boxing, boxing what? Puppet, yeah. He, Muhammad was, uh, was using Aisha, you know, for boxing, uh, you know, to train himself. I think Muhammad wanted to, uh, you know, to train himself and he used Aisha as a boxing bag, right? Punching bag, yeah. Who's, who's, uh, yeah, Da'if. This is Da'if, brother. Sahih Muslim is Da'if, brother. This is why it's called Sahih. It's the Aif. This is why it's called Sahih. Punching bag, yeah. Aisha became the punching bag of Muhammad. The Aif, brother, you are a Kazab, brother. No, you are, you, you are the Kazab ibn the Kazab. You are the liar, son of a liar, rejecting Sahih Muslim, you idiot. Shame on you. Shame on you for calling yourself a Sunni Muslim, rejecting your own hadith. Shame on you. Shame on you, ya Kazab ibn Kazab. You have no shame, you have no honor, your dignity, because the, it's, it's on the screen, you idiot. And we used a sheikh, not some, some guy, sheikh, reading it from the Arabic for you. Right? Idiots. Idiots! You evil son of Satan, rejecting all Muslim sources. You evil son of Satan. So Aisha said, hit me baby one more time. Please, brother, kick me using me as a punching bag, brother. Brother Muhammad, brother, oh prophet of Islam, hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, you know the song, right, guys? I think that's what Aisha was thinking. Right? Thank you, Carrie Ann, for the... Wow, wow, Carrie Ann. Wow, thank you so much. God bless you for the super chat. Thank you for your support, guys. Oh, Carrie Ann. Sorry, she says, sorry, I'm late, Rob. God bless you and your family. No, God bless you too. I'm here only to serve, you. guys. I am here only for the truth. I am reading the Muslim sources and I'm confirming myself with the Arabic, right? We, we went to the Arabic. We even played the video from a sheikh who is not lying. He's reading the source as it is. And you see the translation on the screen. Hit me, baby, one more time. Guys, forget about Muhammad. <laughs> no, no, let's not forget about Muhammad. Muhammad used Aisha as a punching bag. What about her father? What about her father? Yeah, let me give you this link too, guys. Admins, please share. Share the links. Guys, I told you. I told you we're going to drop bombs again. How many times do we have to repeat ourselves? We're going to drop bombs. It's again that day of the year again, man. And we're going to the Muslim source. Look, Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. 
Sahih Muslim, we go to the most authentic ones. This is not a joke. This is not a joke in Islam, right? Guys, guys, Christians, I'm talking to you. I am addressing you. If you don't want to go our live show of today to go in vain, you need to download our video, spread it on all the Korean videos, channels, because these poor duped kids, they have no idea about what true Islam is. They don't know that Muhammad used Aisha as a punching bag. You need to spread our videos like wildfire, guys. Don't be lazy, Christians. Let our videos reach out Kim and Rashid O. These people have been duped. Be a Christian, man. Act like a Christian. Help me to help you, guys. Don't allow our videos to go in vain. Now, let's see. Muhammad used Aisha as a punching bag, right? We confirm that and the Sheikh confirmed that, the Arabic confirmed that, right? Let us go to what Abu Bakr did to Aisha. Narrated Aisha herself from Sahih al-Bukhari. Let us see the source. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6845. See? This is Sahih bukhari right? So we went to Sahih Muslim, now it's Sahih bukhari Narrated Aisha. What did Aisha say? Abu Bakr came. Her father, right? This is her father, guys. This is her father, Abu Bakr, the first caliph. The one who, who was in power immediately after the death of Muhammad. This is, this is the number one guy after Muhammad. This is the number one guy. I mean, look, we showed you what Muhammad did to Aisha. How he used her like a punching bag, right? Having a boxing match with her. And now let's see what Abu Bakr did. Abu Bakr came to, towards me, Aisha saying, and struck me violently with his fist. Brother, where's the toothbrush, brother? Where is the toothbrush, brother? Brother? Where is the toothbrush, brother? Brother, come on, brother. Hey, brother. I, again, guys. The number one guy, Muhammad, and the, 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 the second thing, man, Abu Bakr, they both forgot their toothbrush, man. What's wrong with these people, man? Look, let me make it bigger for you. Maybe some people have issues with their eyes. Aisha confirming that her father used her as a punching bag. With, a fist, with his fist in God's sakes, for God's sakes. Do you see it? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. This is not a joke. Sahih Bukhari. The Sahih Bukhari. Brother, I think Abu Bakr and Muhammad, they forgot their toothbrush, brother. Their miswaq, brother. You know what a miswaq is, right, guys? Muslims always say, you, you are only allowed to use a miswaq, brother. With it, use it like a, you know, like a, tap it, brother. Tap, 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 tap it. Tap, tap, brother. Right? <clears throat> right? So any Muslim who dares to say that we are lying? Any Muslim? Hit me, baby. I mean, look, man. Poor Aisha, man. She was beating to hell, man, by her own family, man. By her husband and her father. Tap it, brother. Hit me, baby. I, this Aisha, brother. Look at those innocent eyes, man. Can you imagine, guys, how they were treating her? And you, and you think why, why Aisha, uh, you know, allowed that goat to eat the Quran of stoning and adult breastfeeding? Do you have no idea why, guys? Aisha, I think Aisha, guys, to be honest with you, Aisha became so disgusted of Muhammad and Islam. That's why she allowed the goat to eat the Quran, man. Right? She was disgusted. Man. She knew Muhammad is a scam. Do you remember when Aisha said, Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fi hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your Lord always runs like Usain Bolt himself. Right? The, the medal guy, right? The Olympics medal guy. Usain Bolt. Allah runs, outruns Usain Bolt and hastens to fulfill the sexual desires of Muhammad. Aisha knew her husband was a scam. Right? Aisha knew. Prophet of God, he beating her and, and her and her father beating her. If we continue reading, so he struck her violently with his fist. Abu Bakr, her own father, struck her 
violently and said you have detained the people because of your necklace so he's, he's uh, you know disciplining her her own daughter but i remained motionless as if i was dead lest i should awake allah's messenger although that hit was very painful do you see it this is toothbrush brother this is miswak brother miswak that's what a miswak does to you these days Miswak, brother? Look, I mean, Abu Bakr used this, guys. <laughs> That's what Abu Bakr used, I think, as a fist, brother. No, I think Abu Bakr forgot, forgot his uh, miswak at home, guys. You see how they are lying, guys? Do you see how they're lying? Do you see how they're lying? Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? I, I, guys, I, I'm not paying attention to the live chat, to be honest with you. Right? If you, have, if you have, think you have the knowledge and the courage to refute me, call me. And let's see if, we, if I'm lying, Muslims. Any Muslim? Yeah, they are triggered, guys. They are triggered. Our videos are doing a lot of damage to Islam and the fake prophet of Islam. They are triggered, guys. I mean, put yourself in their shoes, guys. Come on. Hey, brother Chris Claus, how are you, my friend? God bless you. Nice to have you here. Aisha was being used as a punching bag by Muhammad and Abu Bakr. And where's the miswak, brother? Where's the miswak in the story, brother? Yeah, they are triggered hard. I know, Jim uh, Chong. I know, my friend. I know. You know, they know we are spanking Islam left and right and they cannot do anything about it. You know why? Because we are quoting the most trusted sources. We're quoting Sahih Bukhari and we quoted, right? We quoted Sahih Muslim. Muhammad beat Aisha with his fist and Abu Bakr beat Aisha with his fist. And it was really a painful hit, right? Violently, do you see it? Abu Bakr struck her, his daughter violently with his fist it's a fist two times they're using her as a punching bag man they were they were bullying her man do you think uh, guys what do you think if you beat a woman like that in the streets i mean look this guy that you see here guys this guy that you see here on the on the screen right he was put in jail in america because they saw him beating the hell out of a dog I mean, if you beat a dog in the streets of the United States, they will put you in jail. What about beating a woman with your fist like Aisha? How Aisha was being beaten down. I mean, she's a human, man. You are using her as a punching bag. Muhammad and Abu Bakr. Ya Abu Bakr, ya Muhammad, brother. Why are you using uh, Aisha as a punching bag, man? If you beat a dog today on the streets, they will put you in jail, man. You Muslims, you, do you have any shame to follow such a religion? Beating women, man? Uh, are there any Muslim ladies who have any self-respect? Why are you staying a Muslim for a split second in Islam? Why? Do you have any dignity for yourself? Do you have any honor, any shame? Why are you in this man-made cult, man? This cult is made by Muhammad for Muhammad and the Sahaba to beat the hell out of the women. And remember the hadith that we mentioned earlier, right guys? Right? Remember? When that woman who was beaten to a bloody pulp, when she came to Aisha complaining, Aisha said, look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Do you see it? Look, her skin is greener than her clothes because of the beating. And Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing Muslim women. What kind of a religion is this, man? Toothbrush, brother, toothbrush. Brother, only you said toothbrush. Yeah, what kind of toothbrush was that be, uh, back in those days, guys? What kind of toothbrush did, did they use? I mean, is it from uh, iron or something? Must be solid steel, brother. Steel iron brush, brother. I mean, come on. What, what, they, what do they put in their, in their toothbrushes, man? Lead or something? 
think it's lead. Maybe maybe it's something. You know, it's causing their the skin to become green, man, because of the beating. Now, guys, I saw that uh, Daoud Kim, right? Daoud Kim here. Uh, the video of Brother Christian Prince reached him, right? Before we go there, guys, before we continue with Daoud Kim, let us have a small drinking break. I'm out of water. My throat starts to itch. I need some water. So we'll continue. Two minutes, guys. Get yourself something, something to drink. Get some popcorn and we'll continue from there. Small drinking break, guys. All right. Be right back. Right, guys we're back I'm back we are back so let us continue guys do we have any callers before we continue thank you for the super chat guys thank you so much Jacob Matthew is there a seventh century toothbrush I think uh, you know those toothbrushes man they were heavy it contained iron and maybe some steel bro because you know you never know you know look at the uh, green spots man on the skin of the woman they used you know those were dangerous toothbrush brother and uh, Twin B, thank you so much for the super chat too. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax on, brother. You know, it's uh, it's fitting for today's topic of beating, right? Beating the woman. You know, karate kid, brother. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, yeah guys, I was born in the in the eighties. What what can I do? You know, good old times, man. If you didn't uh, live in the eighties, guys, you missed out, man. That those were the best years of my life, man. No internet, we used to play outside all day long. Even my mother used to drag me from outside to come eat something, right? We were healthy. I never saw fat kids around me, man. Look at the kids of today. Sitting behind a smartphone and they play games all day long. Right? Uh, Hakeem, why do, why do you hate me, brother? I don't hate you, I love you, man. I, ha I have hate towards Muslims. Can you show me where I hated any Muslim? I challenge you to show me one video where I hated Muslims. Guys, Muslims, because we love you, because we love you, use tough love with you, showing you what your Muslim sources uh, say. And when we read your Muslim sources, you become mad at us and you curse us out. You're the ones who hate us. Your fake prophet and your Allah called us the worst of creatures. You are calling us najis in the Quran. Your prophet and Allah called us najis. Who is doing the hate, you idiot? You hypocrite munafiq. Shame on you, man. I, we don't hate anyone. Yes, we use tough love, right? 
because we love you, we share what your books say that you don't even have any clue about, right? How Aisha was being used and manhandled, right? Like a dog. She, Abu Bakr and Muhammad used her like a punching bag, man. We went to Sahih al-Bukhari, we went to Sahih Muslim, right? I can breathe, why? I don't know, T take it easy, bro. Hit me, baby, one more time. I mean, Aisha, man, maybe, Allahu Alam, maybe she enjoyed it. You know, the fist, uh, fisting, brother. Pow, pow. With a fist, brother. Let me put a fist in your chest, brother. Let's see if it's going to hurt you. Maybe we can beat the, this guy. Uh, Mr. Uh, I hate you. Mr. I hate you. you. Mr. I hate you. Can I can I use my fist like Abu Bakr used his fist inside the chest of Aisha and Muhammad too? Can we use you as a punching bag? Let's see if you're going to like it. Let, let, let's see if you're going to like what, uh, like it, what Aisha had to endure because of Abu Bakr and, uh, and Muhammad. Using her as a punching bag. Let's see if you're going to like it. Idiot. Idiot! The religion of beating women, yeah. So the guys, let us continue with Daoud Kim. This guy that you see here. You know, th those two victims, this, those two Korean victims of this Arab man-made cult of Islam. Beating women, right? We already uh, showed you what kind of silly kid Rashidu is, right? He has no idea what Islam is all about. Beating with a toothbrush, brother? Maybe, why did your Prophet and Abu Bakr did not use the toothbrush, brother, on Aisha, brother? Anyway, let us continue with this guy. This guy has 2 million subscribers. So guys, please, for the love of God, if you love me, help me to help you. If you like what we are doing, you need to share our videos on this guy's YouTube channel and on this guy's too. The, the YouTube links, of these two guys, guys, you can find them in the description box. Share. Don't be lazy, Christians. I am addressing you, Christians. Don't be lazy. Do what you got to do. Let us show them the real face of Islam. Right? This guy, Daud Kim, he has 2 million subscribers. He, he was a failed singer, right? And when the moment he became a, a Muslim convert, you know, his YouTube channel exploded. You know, uh, this tells me something about the Muslims. You know, let's say you you have a you know you have a, you have a dog and the dog needs to do number two on the street, right? He he does number two, you know, the crab, and the Muslims they're like this. You know, this guy becomes a Muslim, he he crabs, and the Muslims are like flies coming on this on the crab, right? Suddenly, from couple thousand, this guy hits two million subscribers. Muslims are like the flies on, uh, sorry to, to use the word, crab, man. They, the moment they smell crab, they, they all come on it. Yeah, it's popular, popularity context, yeah. That's what it is. It's a popularity context. Right? It's all about being popular in Islam. You, you, you know, you're different, you're kind of different, you get Muslims who are going to follow you, like flies on, uh, you know. On a pie of, uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you know what, um, yeah, All right. So let us continue with this guy, guys, Daoud Kim. So Daoud Kim, the video of Brother Christian Prince reached him. And, you know, I went to the uh, community message to see what this guy is saying. So he says, Daoud Kim says in his community message, I watched the video that you guys sent to the link. Sent to the link, you guys sent to the link. He means the Christian Prince YouTube link, right? That he made about this guy. It was a video of a Christian YouTuber, i.e. Christian Prince, accusing me. But I respect it because it's his, his opinion. You idiot. Do you think Christian Prince is using his opinion or is he going to your Muslim most trusted sources? You idiot. Anyway, this guy is a, is a kid, man. I'm neither a scholar nor a representative of Islam. You liar. All your videos is about Islam. You liar. Shame on you. Why are you lying? Idiot. Why are you lying? Man, oh man. Look at this liar, man. Yeah, guys, you need to share our, our link too with this idiot. Show him that he's, he has no clue about Islam, guys. Come on. You hypocrite. So let us continue, guys. What does he say more? 
Since there are so many things I don't know. So you don't know, but you love to make videos about Islam. What are, why are you making videos about Islam if you have no idea what Islam teaches, Ya Daud Kim? You have no idea, you are ignorant about Islam. I think I have so many mistakes. Yes, yeah, so if you know you're ma making mistakes, why are you making videos? Lying about the true face of Islam. Uh, I even can't speak English well. Uh, you liar. You speak English all the time on your videos. I'm not a logical person. I'm not a smart person. So I just told my thoughts from my point of view. So it's okay to blame me for wrong. But I think it's not good to blame Islam itself for my lack. My friend, we are going to the most trusted Islamic sources. And you say we should not blame Islam who is teaching you how Muhammad was beating the hell of Aisha and how Abu Bakr was beating the hell of Aisha, using her as a punching bag. And it's not, not to blame Islam, you idiot. <laughs> Look at this liar, man. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Playing victim, yeah. Uh, and then blah, blah, blah. A lot of blah, 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 blah. Then he continues. Also, I, although I'm a Muslim, guys, watch. Read, read with me. Although I'm a Muslim, Daud Kim is saying, this guy, right? This guy's still the one talking, right? Although I'm a Muslim, I never intend to blame other religions. But wait, your religion is blaming us. Your religion is calling us the worst of creatures. The Jews and the Christians, they are the worst of creatures. Your religion, your Quran calls us Najis. Should we blame Islam? You're, you're a victim, man. You're a victim. You have no idea what you're talking about. Even my parents are Christians. How can I blame them? Um, um, uh, Mr. Daud Kim, do you know, do you have any idea when you recite Al-Fatiha, guys, Quran, the first chapter, let me show you. This guy has, uh, he has, he has no idea what he's talking about, man. Do you know that you, you claim that your parents are Christian? Okay, fine. Do you know when you recite Al-Fatiha, guys, this is Al-Fatiha. Do you know that you are repeating the curses on your uh, Christian family, on your parents in, in Ayah 7? The path of those whom you have favored, those are the Muslims, guys. Pay attention, guys, please. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Pay attention on the screen. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat who came to play, who to distract you. Not the path of those who earned your anger. Who are those guys? Anyone? Who are those? Who are those guys? Help me to help you. Who are those? Wow, 34 dislikes. That means we are doing something good, guys. That's good. That's good. I like the dislikes. That means we are the Muslims are triggered, guys. I'm even getting more dislikes than brother Christian Prince, man. Can you imagine? Yeah, uh, who are those? Who are the, who are those? Be specific. Who are the people of the book in this case? They highlighted here. Anyone? No, not Jews and Christians. No. I want to I want you to be specific, guys. Come on. Who are those? The highlighted part here, the Jews, thank you. Peter the Wall, you paid attention. So the highlighted ones are the Jews. So Allah is angry with the Jews and he's cursing them. If we continue, it says, nor of those who are astray. Who are those? The Christians, right? So the first ones are the Jews. The second ones are the Christians. So Allah is cursing the Jews and the Christians and Muslims are reciting and repeating at least five times a day, Al-Fatiha. And they repeat it 17 times. 17 times a day. So this Daud Kim here, that you see here, he is cursing his mother and father who are Christians. Maybe his sisters. Do you like that, Daud Kim? That you know that you are cursing your parents, your family, who are Christians? You know that, right? That you are cursing your mother? The mother that delivered you on this planet, on this earth, on the face of the earth, you are cursing her, you are repeating the curses of Allah on her. Huh? Does this guy know this? Does he know that he's cursing his own mother? Huh? Does he know that? Where's the curse? Let me show you. Guys, let me show you what I'm trying to say here, right? If we go to chapter 9, let me show you the curses of Allah. Chapter 9, Ayah 30. And the Jews say, guys watch. Chapter 9, Surah at tawbah Ayah 30. And the Jews say, or said, وَقَالْتِ الْيَهُودِ Alright, the Jews said, Uzair is the son of Allah. So the Jews claim that Uzair, 
is the son of Allah. Who is Uzair? We have no idea. We have no idea who Uzair is. Never heard of this guy before. And the Christians said, the Messiah, al Messiah, is the son of Allah. Right? And Nasara, al Nasara, right? Waqalit al Nasara, the Nasara said, the Christians said, al Messiah ibn Allah. They utter this from their own mouth. They speak like the former disbelievers. May Allah kill them. Uh, is this cursing uh, Abdul's? Abdul's in the live chat. Is this cursing or not? Do you see how Allah is cursing? May Allah annihilate them. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. Is this cursing? Are you, is uh, Daud Kim, is Daud Kim cursing his mother? When he repeats the curses of Allah? Yes, Allah is saying that, right? All, may Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. So Mr. Daoud, Daoud Kim, do you know that you are cursing your mother? You are repeating the curses of Allah on your mother? The, the mother who delivered you, who carried you for nine months? Guys, please, Christians, please, for the love of God, don't be lazy. You need to spread my video of today like wildfire to these, these idiots here that you see on the screen. You are repeating the curses of, on the mother who delivered you on this planet, who carried you in her, in her belly for nine months. Do you have any shame, Mr. Daud Kim, when you became a Muslim? Do you have any shame that you know that you're cursing your mother when you read the Quran of Allah? Allah is talking, right? They claim it's Allah, right? They claim it's Allah. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. Do you see it? Because the Jews and the Christians, they are associating a son to Allah. And then Allah says, may Allah destroy them. Do you see it? We know that the Christians, they worship Jesus. And according to the Quran, the Jews are basically associating Uzair with the son of Allah. The Jews have never heard of Uzair. But anyway, you know, that's a topic for another time. So Mr. Daud Kim, why are you cursing out your Christian mother? Huh? Yeah, and he's trying to convert his mom too. And this guy too, by the way. Not, not only he, he, this Rashido and this Daud Kimo, Rashido, Daud Kimo, they are insulting their mother. They are cursing their mother at least 17 times a day. 17 times a day. They curse their own mothers, fathers. You know, and so on and so on. Two donkeys. Yeah, they are donkeys, man. They are kids, man. Silly kids, man. They have no idea what Islam is all about. So guys, Christians, please, please, I cannot repeat it enough. Don't be lazy. Instead of playing video games, instead of watching cooking videos, instead of uh, playing Counter-Strike and what, what kind of games you play these days, Spread our videos. Download and spread our videos. Do what you gotta do. Their, their YouTube channels in, is inside my description box, guys. You can find it in my side, my description box. So don't be lazy. Do your homework, Christians. Right? Don't be lazy, Christians. At least act like Christians. Show these people who are victims. You see it? Korean victims of this Arab called Islam. Show them that they are cursing their own mothers, day in, day out. Yeah, instead of playing with TikTok and whatnot, what, what kind of apps and games do you use these days, guys? I have no, I, I don't have, I have only a couple of apps, man. I have uh, WhatsApp and, uh, you know, uh, I use an agenda or, you know, <clears throat> that's it. I don't have time for that, for that man. We're here for the truth. Uh, Seher, Seher 21. Cursing? Lol? Are you, are, you, are you calling Allah a liar? Seher, Seher, do you have Skype? Seher. Seher 21, do you have Skype? Call me on Skype, please. I'm going to show you where. Seher, you never knew that Allah is cursing in the Quran. Are you blind on something? What does it say, uh, Seher 21? Can you read it? May Allah destroy the Jews and the Christians. Is that cursing or not? He's not? 
Are you an idiot? I think you need to go see a doctor. And the Jews said, Uzair is the son of Allah. And the Christians said, the Messiah is the son of Allah. They utter this from their own mouth. They speak like the former disbelievers. May Allah curse them. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. That's not cursing? Stupid. You are a stupid liar and a fool. You just called Allah a liar. You are out of Islam, Mr. Sir 21. You are not even a Muslim. You just called Allah and Muhammad liars. Yeah, I'm doing this for money, uh, Elfiner. You don't know I'm doing this for money. I want to become as filthy rich as Zakir Naik and Ahmadidat, who have millions and millions on their bank account. That's why I'm doing this. I want to become a millionaire because, you know, the Christians are sending me lots of lots of money. You have no idea, bro. I'm about to become a millionaire. This is why I'm doing this. Not for the truth. No, 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 brother. Brother, huh? we're not here for the truth, brother. I, you know, we are spending hours and hours here on YouTube. You know, because we want to get become filthy rich, brother. Behind my computer, brother. Right? Idiot. Idiot! Idiot. You're an idiot and you are out of excuses. You are bankrupt, so you need to distract, you need to lie about me, right? We are doing this for money, guys. Do you hear it? Do you hear it, guys? We are doing this for money. The Muslim said it, right? You are you are the idiot. You are the idiot son of an idiot. And I think you have a you are a Turkish guy, right? Elfinur Gur says you sound like a Turkish man. Do you know? Do you know when the Turks came to Turkey, they raped your grand grand grandmothers, grand 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 out. Do you know that? You're probably a product of Muta'a, you idiot. Maybe they raped your grand grand grandmother who used to be a Christian because in Turkey it was a Christian country. They Big chance they raped your mother and you are a product of rape. You idiot. You are a product of rape. And you are proud about it. You are proud to be a Muslim. While your grand 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 dads died. They killed them, you know, and they killed, they took their women as sex slaves. You idiot, you traitor. You have no shame, you have no dignity. While you know that they raped your women. Stop lying. You and what army is going to force me to stop? You and what army? Muhammad is dead, he's rotting in his grave, he's poisoned. Allah is, uh, is nowhere to be found. Who is going to stop me, man? You and what army, man? Liars, man. You evil son of Satan, that's what you are, Muslims. You evil son of Satan, that's what you are. Now let us play the video, guys, of Daoud Kim. Put on your headsets, guys. Don't, la don't allow Muslims to distract you guys. Pay attention to my video, please. So that you, you have a job to do. You need to spread our video like wildfire after, after we are done. All right? Let me play the video now. Please, Christians, don't let, allow any Muslim to distract you. Stay with me. Look at this Daoud Kim, brother. You see Daoud Kim? This is Daoud Kim and his sheikh, brother. A sheikh from Al-Azhar, a, a Korean sheikh by the name of... Abdullah Al-Kuri, this, this means his name is, his first name is Abdullah Al-Kuri, do you see it? Here, you can, you can see the, even his, he's a famous uh, Azari Sheikh in Korea it seems. Al-Kuri, it means the Korean, the Korean, right? Al-Kuri means the Korean Abdullah. That's his last, so-called last name, right? So let us play the video and see what they are saying. I'm going to show you that this Sheikh is nothing but a liar. Guys, I'm going to put up a challenge. Let us put up a challenge. If I catch this sheikh that you see here, right? Uh, Abdullah Al Kuri, you can find his uh, YouTube channel in the description box, guys. I put it in my description box under this video. So you can find his YouTube channel. You can find Rashido, his YouTube channel. And you can find Daud Kim, his YouTube channel. You have a job to do, Christians, right? Don't be lazy. All right. So. Let us put a challenge, guys. If this guy lies in this small video, it's a small video. If I catch him with three lies, that means he's a shaky sheikh. He's a liar and a deceiver and he has no, uh, sh uh, he has no honor. He has no shame. He has no dignity, right? If I catch him with three lies during this video, that means he's a filthy liar and a deceiver, right? Is that a good challenge, guys? Three, three strikes for this sheikh, for this shaky sheikh, right? 
Three strikes, guys, and it's done. He's done. He's going to be cooked. Only three lies. If I bust him with three lies, it's over. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's go. It's showtime. <laughs> Okay, let me play the video. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, He wants to ask him a couple of questions. How did he became a Guys, focus, please. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, guys, we already found a lie. What's the lie? My father was a Christian and my mother was a Catholic. You, you claim to be a scholar, brother? Guys, we already found a, a lie here. What's the lie? According to him, a Catholic is not a Christian. And you claim to be a, a Christian? A Christian and a Catholic. Lie number one detected. Right? Number one detected. Strike number one. Didn't I tell you that, guys? Strike number one. That was fast. Yeah, you see, Rob Christian, man. Brother, easy, go easy on them, man. Strike number one. So he claims that he's, his father was a Christian and his mother was a Catholic. So in other words, his mother is not a Christian. Since when are Catholics not our Christian brothers in faith? Catholics are Trinitarian Christians, you idiot. And you claim to be son of a Christian family? Is this guy serious and he claims to be a scholar? What? Christian and a Catholic? Yeah, exactly. This guy to claim to be a scholar of Al-Azhar University in Egypt. That's the number one Islamic university of the world. G guys, for the people who do not know, this guy, he studied in the same Al-Azhar who printed that 1924 Quran of Hafs. Yes, you heard it correctly. There where he said, and this guy claims to be a scholar. You don't know what Christianity is all about. You don't know that Catholics are Christians? Idiot. So strike number one, guys. Strike number one. 어머니가 이제 카톨릭 쪽이셨는데 어 기독교 식의 교육을 They taught me about Christianity a lot. Okay. 제가 어 너는 목사가 돼야 된다. 너는 성직자가 돼야 된다. Okay, they wanted him to become a pastor. 성경을 읽고 I read the Bible. Okay, so he, he claims to know the Bible. 또 이제 미션 스쿨이라고 이제 기독교 계열의 학교. He claims to know the Bible. 그런 학교들을 다니고 이제 고등학교가 되면 이제 한그 정도 되면 보통 자신의 그런 자기만의 생각을 가지게 되잖아요. 성경을 읽을 때마다 뭔가 목사님의 말씀이랑 좀 really? 맞지 않는 게 있다는 걸 제가 okay, 조금 Let's see what he's going to say, guys. 제가 항상 어릴 때부터 읽은 게 이제 구약, 성경, the Old and the New Testament. 성경, okay. 목사님의 말씀. Okay. 이거 okay. 세 개가 항상 주요 공부하는 것들이었는데 oh. 구약에서 하는 이야기가 신약에서 하는 이야기하고 다르고 oh. 또 신약에서 하는 이야기와 목사님의 말씀이 어쩔 때는 다르고 mm -hmm. 신약 성경 내에서도 말이 막 다르고. In the New Testament, the words keep changing. Idiot? Why? Okay, let's see, guys. Watch. Focus. <laughs> He's been studying all his life. Did you see it? That's why the entire story is also studying style. So he claims to have studied the Bible all his life before he became a Muslim. We have a Muslim? Okay, let's see. Yeah, hello? Idiot. Is that is that the only thing you have, Muslims? Wow, triggered my Abdul's man. Okay, you've been blocked by a Christian man. Be happy. All right, let us continue, guys. Idiot. Was that Jibril? I think it was Jibril, the demon who squeezed Muhammad inside cave. Hira, hira. That was Jibril, guys. That was Jibril, the demon himself. Let us continue. So this guy claims that he studied the Bible for a very long time, and his parents. His Christian and Catholic parents, <laughs> they wanted him to become a priest. So he knows, he claims to know about the Bible. Watch. <laughs> Many prophets appear in the Old Testament. Okay. Almost the same as Islam. Guys, almost the same as, I, as Islam. Okay. Moses, David, mm. Abraham, Jesus. Okay, guys, he, he's mentioning Moses, David, Abraham, and Jesus. Strike number two detected. Since you claim that Islam is like um, uh, Christianity, right? Like the Holy Bible. Let me spank you even harder. Idiot, you liar. Strike number two detected, guys. How, Rob Christian? Wait, watch how. 
This is the Quran. Chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 18. Chapter 5, Ayah 18. Strike number 2 coming. The Jews and the Christians said, We are the sons of Allah. That's a lie. Jews and Christians never made that claim. They don't believe in Allah. And his beloved ones say, Why does he then punish you for your sins? So guys, in other words, Jews and Christians, you Jews and Christians, you are calling God, you know, let us not go too off topic, but you're calling Allah your father. But then why is he punishing you? Why is he punishing you if you claim that he's your father? So here, clearly, the Quran is clearly claiming that Allah is not father, right? That's what we can make out of it. Allah is not father of mankind, in other words, right? You're only a human. Look, in fact, you're only a human part of his creation. So Allah claims not to be father, but wait. If we go to the Old Testament in the Hebrew Bible, let's say in Isaiah 63 verse 16, do you see it? It reads, for you are our father, for Abraham did not know us, neither did Israel recognize. You, O Jehovah, are our father. How is, how is this? Uh, Mr. Shaky Shake, Ya Mr. Al-Kuri, Ya Abdullah Al-Kuri, Mr. Shaky Shake. How is Islam and how are the prophets like uh, of Islam like our prophets? How is your Allah our God? If your Allah claims that he's not God, uh, God of the Christians, because he's not father. How can he be your father? But in our Bible, over and over, we can see that God is our father. Strike number two. Shaky shake, brada. Guys, we, we, we told you, three strikes and this, this Abdul is done. This shaky shake from Allah Zahar is done. You, you see this shaky shake, guys? He will not stand a chance if, if I'm going to debate him. I, I, I promise you, if this guy, if this guy, maybe in the future, Allahu Alam, Allah knows best, right? If he dares to, to challenge me for a debate, he will not last for three minutes in a debate with me. Not for three minutes in a debate with me. You Korean shaky shake. Al Kuri. Abdullah Al Kuri. Abdullah the Korean, right? So how is Allah, our God, while well, Allah is not father to mankind, but in our Holy Bible, we can see that Jehovah is our father, man. Is this the same God? Are these the same prophets of Islam? Our Holy Prophets, right? The prophets of the Holy Bible. Abraham, Moses, Isaiah, they all called God Father. In Islam, Allah is not father, so we have a different God. Allah is a different God. Stop forcing your Allah inside our whole Bible. Of our God, right? Allah is a different God. Uh, sorry, I'm butchering the English. I see, guys. Sorry for that. But you get the idea. Allah cannot be the same God because our God is Father. Allah is certainly not Father. Strike number two. So we already have two strikes, right guys? Strike, two strikes. What's left? Just one, one and then uh, you know, he's busted. I mean, he's already busted by uh, number one already, but you know, let us continue. Just, let us give him, you know, a chance. <laughs> uh, Mr. Abdur Rahman, Mr. Abdur Rahman, call me, call me. Abdur Rahman. Call me, if you call yourself a man, call me live on air. My Skype ID is Dear Rob Christian. My Skype is open, man. Look. Call me, yeah, Abdul. Call me, call me. Do you have any manhood in you? Yalla, ya akhwan. Wainkum. Yalla, ya akhwan. Da'fu ala al-Islam, ya akhi. Defend your, your religion, ya akhi. 51 dislikes. This is a new record, guys. You see, guys, Rob Christian is doing a good job because Muslims are triggered. That means we are doing a good job. Imagine if I have zero dislikes. That means I better close my YouTube channel, man. So we're doing good. We're, we're doing great, right? Good, good. So how, how is this the same God, Mr. Uh, Shaky Shake? Strike number two. Let us continue. Let us continue. Let me go back to, the, uh, to YouTube. Uh, okay. All right. 
Strike number two. Let us continue. Worshipped only one God. That's true. It appears in the Bible. Thank you. Suddenly, okay, you have to worship Jesus to go to heaven. That's true. This is true because he's our God. But Jesus said clearly, don't tell me that I'm God. Where? Don't tell me that I'm God. Where did he say that? Where? Give us an example. Where did Jesus say that? No example. Let's see if he's going to give a, a, a verse, guys. You can't go to heaven because you call me God. I'll give you a thousand dollar, Mr. Shaky Shake. Strike number three. Mr. Shaky Shake, Mr. Abdullah Al Kuri, I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can show me exactly like this what Je that Jesus said that. Don't tell me that I'm God. You can't go to heaven because you call me God. If you can show me these words spoken from the mouth of Jesus, I'm going to give you a thousand dollar and I'm going to close my YouTube channel. You liar! Shame on you! Why are you lying, you idiot? Why are you lying to Mr. Daud Kim? Where did Jesus say that, Mr. Shaky Shake, Al Azari, Shaky Shake? You liar! You disgusting, evil son of Satan! Putting words that are not there inside Jesus' mouth. Do you have any shame, Ya Kizab ibn Kizab? Shame on you! But we know Muslim Shiuk have no shame. They have to lie to deceive poor victims. Look at his eyes, man. He's a victim. Look at, look at this guy. It's a kid, man. Liar! Where is Uncle, Uncle Jamal when you need him? Liar! Can someone call Uncle Jamal from Speaker's Corners, guys? Look at his face, man. How he's putting... Do you have any shame putting, insulting Jesus this way? You, are, you just called our Holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a liar by putting these words in his mouth. Show me where Jesus is saying that in the Holy Bible. May I kazab? Liar! Shame on you. But you know, we know you have no shame. Let us continue, guys. Let us continue. Strike number three already. He's busted, man. Let us continue. No, don't worry, guys. Let us continue. Really? How? Yeah, shaky shake. Didn't Jesus say, I and the Father are one? You liar, you, sh you blasphemer. You liar, you blasphemer, ya shaitan ibn shaitan. Idiot. Uh, another. Guys, how many? I lost count. How many strikes? How many strikes there? Five, six? I lost count already, guys. He told, look what this guy is saying. He told people not to worship himself. You evil liar, you evil son of Satan, again putting words in Jesus' mouth. You evil liar, you son of Satan, Mr. Abdullah Al Kuri. Why are you putting words in Jesus' mouth that he did not say? You evil son of Satan. You evil son of Satan. Let me spank him again. You evil son of Satan. Why, Rob Christian? Look, was Jesus worshipped during his earthly ministry? Was Jesus worshipped during his early earthly ministry? Yes or no, Christians? Was Jesus worshipped by his followers, the Christians? Did they worship him? Someone says yes. Somali Christian TV, welcome sister guys. Support this uh, dear sister of ours, Somali Christian TV. She is an ex muslima and she now, he, she and her husband are amazing brothers and sister in Christ. So help them out guys. She says, yes, Jesus was worshipped. Of course, Saul John says. Willie Hendricks says yes. Uh, Marcus Tembeck says yes. Look at the yeses, man. Carrie Ann, dear sister, says yes. Yup. Sunil Sunny says yes. I I think the Christians are barbecuing this shaky shake who is lying about Jesus. Watch. Was Jesus worshipped during his earthly ministry? Yes, he was. We read, let us go to the verses, guys. Matthew 8, 2. Notes a healed leper. So Jesus healed a leper. Guys, please focus with me. Forget about the Muslims who came to distract you. Matthew chapter 8 verse 2. Jesus healed a leper who worshipped Jesus. Did you catch it? Did Jesus say to him, no, don't do it? Don't do it like the shaky shake said. 
No, Jesus did not rebuke him. He did not say him, don't worship me. No, he accepted to be worshipped. You evil son of Satan. Ya shaky shake. Ya Mr. Al-Azhar, you idiot donkey. You evil son of Satan. You dog. You have no shame. You see it? Another example, Matthew 9. So Jesus accepted worship and he accepted to be called the son of God. Do you see it? Matthew 9, oh what's happening, Matthew 9 verse 18 states, a ruler came in and knelt before Jesus, prostrating in front of Jesus. That's an act of worship right there. Let us continue. The disciples of Jesus, the disciples, Simon, all of them, the disciples worshiped Jesus after he walked on water. Do you see it? Did Jesus tell them, don't worship me? No, he did not rebuke them. He did not say to them, no, stop worshiping me. He accepted worship. You evil son of Satan, Mr. Shaky Sheikh Abdullah Al Kuri, you evil liar. Why are you putting words inside Jesus' mouth? You evil son of Satan. And you claim to be a scholar? You claim to be an ex Christian, a son of a Christian and a Catholic? <laughs> Did Jesus accept worship, guys? Yes. Matthew 14, do you see it? Matthew 14, 33, verse 33, shares. Those in the boat worshipped him, saying, wow, truly you are the son of Satan. Uh, sorry, may God forgive me for what I said. Truly you are the son of God. Sorry, guys. Truly you are the son of God. Muslims, where are you to curse us now? You see the early disciples, right? The disciples worship Jesus. And they called him, you are truly the son of God. Who is Muhammad who came 600 years later lying about Jesus? Putting words inside Jesus, even uh, misquoting his name. Who is Isa, man? Who is Isa? We call him Yesu al-Masih. Who is Isa? His name in Arabic, guys. Let me tell you, let me teach you. The name of Jesus in Arabic is Yesu' al-Masih. So who is Isa? Who is Isa? Tell me man, I, I want to know. We Arabic speaking Christians, we call Jesus in Arabic Yesu' al-Masih. It is derived from Yeshua, do you hear it? Yesu' Yeshua. And from Aramaic, Yeshu' Mshihu. Yeshu' Mshihu, I'm an Aramaic speaker. Yeshu' Mshihu, Yesu' al-Masih. Yeshua Amshihu, Yeshua Al Masih. Do you hear it, guys? So who is Isa? Lying, man. Liars, man. Your prophet is a liar. Of course, you're going to lie, Mr. Uh, Shaky Sheikh. Let us continue, guys. We're not finished. We're not done. A Canaanite woman worshipped Jesus. Matthew 15, 25. Notes. She came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. You see it? Continuing, the mother of James and John also knelt and worshipped Jesus. Do you see it? Matthew 20, 20. Someone says this is embarrassing. Exactly. This is embarrassing. Mr. Shaky Shake, you got smoked, you got barbecued, and you got served for everybody to see. You are a liar, you deceiver, like your evil son of Satan, prophet, fake prophet Muhammad. You evil son of Satan, shame on you. Uh, the list is long, guys. Let me give you the link for the people who want to have this link. Let me give you the link. All right. Let us continue. Oh, man, this is really embarrassing, man. This, this is uh, Mr. Shaky Shake. You are done and you are smoked like Mr. Farida that we smoked yesterday and the day before. Mr. Shaky Shake. Yeah, Mr. Shaky Shake. Idiot. He told, Jesus told people not to worship him, you liar, you evil son of Satan. Liar! So Jesus, what, what did he say? Let me go back a little. But John's gospel suddenly explained Jesus God. Thank you for confirming it. So this is why Jesus accepted worship from others. He accepted worship from many people. He didn't say don't worship me, you liar.
So why are you putting words in his mouth, you evil liar? So you, you were not a Christian. You were not a Christian. Clearly, you are not a Christian. You were never a Christian. Uh, Abdul, Abdul, the self-destruction is, is on you. You are the one who just uh, committed self-destruction, you idiot. Like your uh, suicidal prophet who wanted to jump from the high mountains. Islam is self-destruction, man. Your prophet wanted to do self-destruction. When Waraka died and the virus uh, revelation stopped, because Waraka was giving Muhammad, you know, ayahs to write in the Quran. There's nothing called divine revelation. Muhammad was, uh, you know, was mentally ill, man. So Waraka was helping him. The moment Waraka, the cousin of Khadija, dies, Muhammad goes on the mountain and he wants to jump. He wants to kill himself. The suicidal fake prophet of Islam. So who is doing self-destruction, you evil idiot? Putting words in inside the mouth of Jesus, you evil son of Satan. No, no, you, you are an idiot. You are an idiot. Because you're, you, you were an ignoramus. You never, you never were a Christian. You have no idea what Christianity teaches. You have no idea what the Bible teaches. You have no idea who the real Jesus is. So you accepted Islam, eh? That's why, you idiot. Oh, you have been studying, you have been studying Christianity all your life and you didn't know that Jesus accepted worship? You evil liar! When, uh, this guy was a Christian? Do you believe this guy was a Christian? You liar! You are deceiving your crowd. See, Islam is nothing but business, guys. Don't we always say Islam is nothing but business? Do you see that Islam is nothing but... Look Look at the uh, the board here behind him. Look, guys, this is truly not for for the, for the business, right? Look, he's doing all kind of advertisement and whatnot. Money, brother. There's no, no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger. Yeah. Islam is nothing but business, brother. Yeah, because you were an ignoramus, that's why. Ah. Guys, guys, focus, focus. We're going to, to, to spank the shaky shake again. How many strikes already, guys? I really lost count. How many strikes? How many strikes are we, uh, guys, are you, are you keeping count? How many strikes already? 61 dislikes. Muslims are triggered. Hallelujah. Muslims are triggered. Six strikes. Someone says six. An admin says five, someone else said ten. You, you guys lost counts too. <laughs> Three. It's over 9,000, brother, Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's over 9,000. <laughs> five, okay, five. Let, let's, you know, let us be political correct. Five. Five, let's go with five. So guys, watch for what he's going to say. So this Abdul, he fell on the floor and I prayed with my head on the floor. Okay. So watch, watch what he's going to say next. Watch what he's going to say next, guys. Oh, one time. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> okay, let's see what... That's like Muslim. Like Muslim? Like a Muslim? What? Yes, like a Muslim? So he was praying like a Muslim? Because the Bible says that the prophets, including Jesus, fell on the floor and prayed? What? Oh, 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 subhanallah, brother. You hear the Daud Kim, brother? Subhanallah, subhanallah, Muhammad, yeah. Guys, guys, he prayed like Jesus because Jesus fell on his face and praying like a Muslim. Did you hear it? Did you hear it, guys? Strike number six. Uh, let me go just, you know, like a Muslim, brother. Oh, it's like, like a Muslim. Ah, so Jesus is a Muslim, brother. Jesus is a Muslim, according to the shaky shake. Jesus is a Muslim. He prays to Allah. Did you hear it? You evil son of Satan. Guys, do you see how this guy is insulting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Do you see that Islam is nothing but an insult to our Holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Do you see how they are insulting Jesus, guys? Let me show you why. Rob Christian, why? Here is why. He's basically talking about Matthew, the book of Matthew, the gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, 26, verse 39, right? 
Chapter 26, 39. Chapter 26, verse 39. Guys, are you focused with me? Guys, are you focused with me? Give me a one, please. Give me a one. F forget about the triggered Muslims. We know they, they can't handle the truth. We already know that. Because the evil sons of Satan's, because their father, Allah, is the best of deceivers. He is Satan. Of course, the children of Satan are going to get triggered. All right, oh, oh, many ones. Good, good, good. Now that we are focused, watch. Let me drink something, guys. Okay. So this is talking about Jesus, right? Going a little farther, he, Jesus, fell with his face to the ground. So Jesus fell with his face to the ground and prayed. What did Jesus say? My father. Do you Muslims call Allah father? Do you Muslims call Allah father? Hello? 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 Yeah, hello. I, w I was going to ask a question. Uh, I w wait, before you ask me a question, what are you? Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I am a Muslim. You are a Muslim. What's your question? Oh yeah, I wanted to, it's about the Bible. In Mark ten eighteen, why does Jesus say, why do you call me good? There is none good but God. Because isn't Jesus God? No. So why is he asking them? Before we go there, we are we just we just started the topic. Before we go there, what, you 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 call Jesus Muslim, right? Do you do you agree that Jesus was a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. Question. Yeah. Did Jesus call God his Father, as stated on the screen? What in the Bible or the Quran? Yeah, no, the Bible. Did Jesus called God his Father? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how does Jesus, how is Jesus a Muslim when he is calling his God Father? He's claiming to be the Son of God. God is his Father. How is he a Muslim? Please explain. Well, how is he a Muslim? Yeah. Well, I don't really use, I don't really use the Bible as evidence as no, Jesus a Muslim. No, but according to the Quran, G, uh, the Injil, which is the New Testament, Right? Which is the Injil, the Gospel, is from Allah. Yeah. So you claim that Jesus, you Muslims all the time say, Jesus fell on his face and he prayed like a Muslim. No, did, oh, I did don't Jesus say, I pray don't, like I a Muslim? I don't say that. I don't so, say that. So you're, you're saying that the Sheikh is lying? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 I'm saying he didn't fall on his face in the Bible. Some Muslims use that argument in the Bible. I don't use that argument but personally. But this is an Al-Azhari Sheikh. Are you saying that this Azhari Sheikh is lying is that what you're saying are you putting him, saying are not. you throwing him under the bus i'm not throwing him on the bus i'm just saying, what are you I, saying I, in my personal either either opinion. you agree with him or not do you agree with the sheikh the Allah Zari sheikh yes or no i don't think his argument is good so i don't agree in that argument thank you at least we have an honest muslim here he he's clearly says that the sheikh is lying right he's, li he's lying right he's lying basically right you agree right I'm not necessarily lying. I just think his argument is not, not good. No, he said clearly, Jesus fell on his face and prayed like a Muslim. Do you agree with him? Yes or no? I want to know no. your answer. What? No. No, so Bible, he's lying. No. So he's lying, right? I guess, yeah. No, no, don't guess. Yes or no? Did he lie? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. He lied. So guys, here we have a sheikh from Al-Azhar, the Al-Azhar University, the number one university in the world for Islam. Sunni Islam, he's lying from the back of the thieves about Jesus quoting the biblical verses where Jesus fell on his face and prayed to the Father. So how is your God, Mr. Muslim? I'm talking to you. How is Allah your God? How is he the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? Please to enlighten us. Sorry? Huh? How is Allah? How is Allah the God of the Bible? Go ahead. The God of the Bible? I believe the Bible, not the Bible, but like the Injil, it got corrupted. Okay, prove it from the Quran. From the Quran? Yeah, show me one ayah from the Quran where the gospel is corrupted. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can show me one. Is that is that I, a good deal, guys? I don't want a thousand dollars, I'll just... No. Oh, so you can't show me. So you're only lying now. You're you're doing what the, the Sheikh is doing, right? You're doing the same what the Al-Azhari Sheikh is doing. Lying in my face, in front of 420 people who are watching right now, you are lying. Is that what you're doing, basically? Not lying, I didn't. Yes, you are lying me. because I you just said me. you just said the gospel is corrupted. It's recorded. 
Back up, back up with an ayah from the Quran. Back up you, what you say, man. When I make a claim, I need to back up. Else people will laugh at me and I better delete my YouTube channel. I have 420 people watching, right? 419, 420 people watching who are here listening. Why are you lying? You made a claim. Back up your claim from the Quran, please. Show me an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Go ahead. Uh, can you give me time? Okay, go ahead. Give me the ayah, please. <clears throat> Maybe you can uh, Google it, brother. Google is uh, really, uh, you know, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a really good prophet, brother, and he always provides help, you know. Are you Googling? Uh, Are you Googling? No, I'm searching through the Quran. Okay. Take yeah. your time. Take uh, your time. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse wait, wait. 27. Wait, wait. To, to, yeah, sorry, not 27. 78 to 79. Chapter 2? Chapter 2? Yeah, of the Quran. 78 okay. to 79. Okay. Can you show me where it says gospel? Please? Can you it show me? No. It, you, since you, not, it, I asked you for a specific ayah where it says that it's talking about the gospel. Show me where it says gospel. It doesn't specifically say the gospel, but it says like the book. Yeah, what like book? Pre, it's who is the, who is, okay, let us, let, let us start from zero. Let us start from zero. What about who are the people that this ayah is talking about? Well, in the chapter. What is the context? Yeah, what is the context of chapter 2, verses 78? Let us start with 75. Okay. Who is this talking off. about? Who is this talking about? Or can you read 75, please? 75? Okay. Yeah. Chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 75. It's on the okay. screen. Read it, please. Have you any hope that they will be true to you when a party of them used to listen to the word of Allah? Then okay, you wait a second. It. Wait, who are those party of them? Who are this group of these people? Who are they? I'm not sure. Can you see the screen? Look at the screen. The screen? Yeah. He's talking about the Jews. Thank you. To who is the gospel sent? To the Christians, right? So why are you lying about Allah and the Quran and, and your prophet, my friend? So yeah, it's not talking about the Christians. Okay. So it's not talking about the gospel. Thank you. So wait, I asked you guys, my question was really, really, really crystal clear. I asked you to show me one ayah where it says that the gospel corrupted. Why are you going to the Jews that has nothing to do with the gospel? It's talking about a group of people, right? A group of them, not all Jews, a group. And it's not talking about the gospel, and it's not talking about the Torah. But I asked you a specific question. Show me an ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted. Till now you failed and you're lying about Muhammad and you're lying about Allah. Are you still a Muslim, my friend, when you lie about your book, about the Quran and Allah and Muhammad? Are you still a Muslim? You just became a munafiq, man. You are adding to what the Quran does not say. You, you just became a munafiq. I hope Allah will forgive you, man. No, I didn't know. You didn't know, okay. So go, my friend, go study, go study. Don't waste my time. I have no time for kids, man. I'm wasting my time. Man. Gospel is corrupted, brother, but I can't show you, brother. <laughs>
I think it's probably because our scholars say it. Your scholars are saying it because they are liars, right? They are lying to you, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, I guess. Uh, you're at least honest. My friend, listen. Let me show you what the, what it says in the, in the Quran. Do you have the Quran in front of you? Can you see the screen? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I can, I can just put it okay. up quickly. Chapter 5, chapter 5, Ayah 47. Can you read it for me? Yeah. And and the people of the Injil must Okay, stop, judge stop, Bible. stop. Who are the people of the Injil? The Christians. Thank you. Okay, continue. Okay. Uh, judge, uh, and can I start again quickly? Yeah. And the people of the Injil must judge by what Allah has sent down in it. And okay. whoever does not judge according to what is sent down by Allah, it is they who are the sinners. Okay, please explain this ayah for me. I'm not a Muslim, you are. Cl explain this ayah for me, please. It's basically telling them to judge by the Bible. But no, what? Be specific. By what the angel. About, by the, by the angel. angel. So here, this ayah, Allah basically, because all, this is the ayah from Allah, that's what you Muslims claim. Allah is commanding the Christians, right? Allah is commanding the people of the Injil, those are the Christians, those are the Christians who are sitting in the live chat. You must judge by the gospel, right? By the Injil, by Allah what has sent down in it. So, so guys, pay attention. You Christians who are listening right, in, right here, right now, you must judge by the gospel, all right? And whoever, so any Christian who does not judge by what is sent down inside the, uh, the gospel, it is they who are the sinners. So your Allah here is confirming the gospel. He actually not only is confirming it, he is, say, he is commanding us Christians to judge by what by the gospel says. If I judge by what by the gospel says, I have to worship Jesus. I have to call Jesus the son of God. I have to worship Jesus as the followers of Jesus worship Jesus because that's what the gospel is saying. And I have to reject Muhammad because your prophet said that Jesus is not the son of God. So according to the gospel, I have to reject Muhammad. I have to call him a prophet and I have to call Islam nothing but a religion of Satan. So here Muhammad did poo poo and he destroyed himself by this ayah. Do you agree? Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Why are you a Muslim then? When we find this huge contradiction, my friend, why are you still a Muslim? Do you want to leave Islam here, right here, right now? Because I... this cannot be God, right? God cannot say such things, contradict his own prophet at the same time and contradict himself. This cannot be God, right? God cannot make mistakes, right, my friend? Yeah. He has okay. to be perfect, but this is not perfect. This is not perfect. Exactly. My friend, can you say out loud, I left Islam? I will have some time to think. My friend, come on, man. You already left Islam because you just said it. You just said that God cannot contradict himself. So that means you are agreeing with me that if Allah claims to be God, he cannot contradict himself like this. How can you, Muslims, say that the Injil is corrupted, but Allah is commanding the Jews, sorry, the Christians, to command by the Injil at what is inside it. If we Christians must command, uh, judge by what the Injil says, we have to reject Muhammad. We have to accept that Jesus, the son of God, he, he calls him God, his father. That means Muhammad cannot be the prophet of God. He's actually a prophet of Satan. He's fake prophet. And Allah must be Satan because Satan can't contradict himself because God cannot make mistakes like these. So why are you still a Muslim? Come on, man. Say it. Say it. Say what? Say, say that you're out of Islam because you just called the Quran basically toilet paper. You said it already. I go have some time to think about it. My friend, you just said it. You already said it, that God cannot make such mistakes. You already said it. People are hearing it. It's recorded, man. It's when it's, you know, uh, uh, there's a meme. Whatever, whatever have been seen cannot be unseen. In other words, what you just said cannot be unrecorded because it's forever on YouTube. It's recorded. It's on YouTube forever and ever. Say it, man. I don't know. Can I have some time to think about it? Sure, no problem. Think and call me back, my friend. Listen, my friend, okay. listen, listen. I want to say, I want to give you something. I, and this is truly from the honest of my heart. My friend, I don't hate you. I don't hate any Muslim. But the truth, it's all about the truth. This is the truth. 
If Allah claims to be God, He cannot say, make such mistakes. God cannot contradict Himself like here in this very ayah. This ayah that you see here on the screen, chapter 5, ayah 47, is the nail of the fake prophet of Islam, Muhammad. It's the nail on his coffin. And this proves that Allah cannot be God. Because if Allah claims to be God, He cannot make such mistakes. Because the Bible, the Injil, contradicts the Quran. You know it, everybody knows this. How can Allah say to the Christians, command what is inside the Injil, but the Injil is contradicting the Quran. Right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So my friend, to be honest with you, you already left Islam. But you know, take your time. Please call me. You are a friend now. You are our friend. Call me whenever you can. Think about this. Study it. I'm not saying to you that you have to believe me. But we read it. You read the ayah together with me. This cannot be God talking. How can Muslims claim that this is God while he's contradicting himself? Chapter 5, ayah 47, man. Allah is a fraud. Allah is a fraud. There's nothing called Allah. You cannot give it to me. You cannot give it to me that Allah claimed to be God, but at the same time, he's spanking himself. And Muhammad is doing poo poo here. We know this is the fabrication of Muhammad. The Quran is the fabrication of Muhammad, my friend. Do you agree? I'm, I'm not sure. Yes, you are sure because you already said it. From from my knowledge, like, um, when it comes to the Quran, my knowledge is not that good. When it my comes friend, to Islam, my friend, listen, bro brother, you are the, you you just became you know you actually forced me to respect you. You know why? Because it seems that you are a very respectful person. Number one, number two, you are. Proving to everybody who is listening, we have more than 400 people watching. You just proved to everybody that you are someone who can think. You, God gave you a set of brains, right? You have brains and you can think. How can God make such poo poo inside this ayah, in this Quran? This is Quran. This is not some hadith that we can say it's da'if, even it's hayah. This is Quran. How can Allah? Tell the Christians, command the Christians, judge by the gospel, while the gospel is calling Jesus the Son of God, Jesus is accepting worship from his followers, from the disciples. This cannot be God, my friend. If I am commanded by Allah to judge by the gospel, I have to reject Allah, I have to reject Muhammad, because Jesus is claiming to be the Son of God in my gospel. One plus one, my friend. Right? Mm. So you're out of Islam. Say it, my friend. Say it. Okay. Oh. Say it. Come on. It's tough. No, it's not tough, my friend. This is the truth. You should, my friend, there's an, a verse in the Bible. Don't fear. Don't fear anyone who might hurt the flesh. Fear the ones who might hurt your soul. Maybe someone wants to kill you. Maybe, you know, you're walking on the street. Someone wants to put a knife in you. But don't fear those people. Fear the ones who might destroy your soul, my friend. It's the soul that is everything all about. We Christians, we are not afraid. Listen, I'm doing this almost every day. I don't fear any Muslim. I don't fear any Muslim, my friend. Else I would not put my life on stake here. I'm showing you the truth and only the truth is the most important thing in life. Life is a test, my friend. The truth is the test. The truth. Either you're going to accept the truth or you're going to stay blind, mute and deaf. So what, you, what, is your, what are you going to do, my friend? Come on. It's your life. It's your soul on the line, my friend, not mine. I honestly don't know. Come on, my friend. Can God can can God make mistakes like these? No. No. Okay. So you you are all already out of Islam. You just said it. You said no. You are what out I'm, of Islam. Say it, man. Time, you are all, say my friend, you are already out. You are already out. You just said it. No. You said no. That means you are already out. You just called Allah a liar, basically. You called Muhammad a fake prophet. You said it. Not me. I'm not forcing you to say it. I'm not holding a knife on your throat to say it. You said it from your own free will, my friend, right? Am I forcing you? No, you are using your brains. You can read and understand. Even my cousin who, who is eight years old can understand what is here on the screen. 
You don't need to be a scholar to understand what the ayah is saying. Right? Mm. Say it, my friend. Come on. You said no. It's recorded, man. <sighs> Can I like, have some time to think and then maybe come back? Okay, my friend. Take your time, but write it down. Chapter 5, I 47. My friend, this is the nail on the coffin of the fake prophet of Islam. You can't, you can't outrun this man. It's, it's on the screen. It's recorded. You said no. Take your time, my friend. Let me say it to you. Rome was not built in one day. Take your time. May God bless you. May God open your eyes so you can leave Islam and come back home to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because Jesus claimed, he claimed to be the King of Kings, the Son of God. He claimed to be the Word of God. He claimed to be the Alpha and Omega, the first and last. Those are divine claims, my friend. Be the truth. He claims to be the life bringer over and over in the Holy Bible, in the Injil that we must judge from according to this ayah. You have to judge by the Injil. Well, if I have to judge by the Injil, that means I have to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, my holy God, living God. I have to reject Muhammad, throw him in the garbage and throw the Quran along with the garbage, in the garbage. Accept the truth, my friend. Take your time, call me back, okay? God bless you, my friend. Thank you for calling. God bless bye. you. Bye-bye. Guys, guys in the live chat. Guys in the live chat. Pray for this amazing uh, man, man. At least this guy, I think, guys, you see, we don't hate Muslims. I res He forced me to respect him, man. You see, when I have a respect for his discussion with you, you are showing me that you can think. I'm not forcing you, right? I'm not forcing you, but you can think. Pray for this brother, man. Pray for him so he can find the truth. Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, hello. My friend, so, are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? I'm, uh, I'm struggling, but I have only one question about what you have said earlier. So, uh, you yeah. said if Jesus is uh, being worshipped, mm -hmm. that he is God. Mm -hmm. In First Chronicles uh, my friend, 29... My friend, my friend, listen, listen. I have a very important topic. Please, I'm a middle in a teaching. Can you call me later? If you're not okay. a Muslim, please don't call me, okay? I understand you want to know, okay. but call me when I'm done. I will give <clears throat> you a green light and you can call me back. Let me finish and call me back, please, okay? So stay with me. Okay. Call me back later, okay? Any Muslim? Do we have Muslims? Only Muslims can call, guys. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? No, he's, he was not a Muslim. Do you have any Muslim? Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Yeah, um, Chris Kloss, brother. Chris Kloss, can you call me in a few moments? I want to finish what I'm in the middle of it and we continue, okay? Can you call me? Just in a couple moments, Chris? Is Chris with us, guys? Brother Chris, <clears throat> are you with me, bro? Call me in a few moments. Sure. All right. <clears throat> so guys, oh, this is a Muslim. Okay, we have another Muslim. Good. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. You're live on air. All right. So uh, you say it. Uh... My friend, are you a Muslim? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Are you Sunni or Shia? A Sunni. Okay. Go ahead. Well, when the Quran mentions the Injil, it has nothing, nothing to do with the gospel of um, this guy named Mark or Matthew or Luke or John. It's talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, can you show me the gospel of Jesus Christ? Yes or no? No. Can you show me? Because you're claiming that this is not the same gospel. That means you have proof. Show it to me. You're not making that claim. You have to provide evidence. Go ahead. What you, you're making the claim that it's the gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. No, you are, you are making the claim that it's not the same Injil. Prove oh, to me oh, that it's oh. not. Prove to me that's not. What's your proof? Maybe the, maybe the gospel of Peter is the gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Listen, stupid donkey. So, okay, just, just go. Yeah, go. Came to play and you call me insults on my own life. Who is the donkey, man? So guys, you see, he's making a claim. This is not the same in G. That means you have you have evidence. Provide me your evidence. You're you're putting the burden of proof on me while you are making the claim. <laughs> you idiot. Who do you think you are, man? You may claim, you provide 
evidence. If I make a claim, I provide evidence. You know, when I say something, I provide it. With today, everything that we have been showing you, we were talking about how Muhammad beat Aisha, we put it on the screen. Muhammad was using Aisha as a punching bag, we put it on the screen. Abu Bakr was using Aisha as a punching bag, we put it on the screen from Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. Right? Even dogs don't get beaten anymore. You will put, put in, you'll be put in jail, man. Aisha was being used as a punching bag. And we provided evidence for that. Brother, it's not the gospel that you have. Okay, prove it. Show me the gospel that you're talking about. Clearly, that means you have that gospel. Show it to me. I want to read it. Brother. Liar. You're an idiot, man. What's wrong with you Muslims, man? It's not the same gospel. Provide evidence for your claim, man. <clears throat> Guys, let me show you something. Let me let me spank this idiot that just called. All right? To be honest with you, I, I have no time for, for donkeys, right? And I'm not trying to insult any real donkey. Chapter two, 10, guys. Let me put this ayah in his face. Watch. Chapter 10, ayah 94. Now, if you are in doubt, who is this talking about? Muhammad. When we ask Muslim, who is this about? It's Muhammad. Let's see if we can find a better translation to show you. Uh, you know, how they are adding, right? They're always adding. Let me find that. To prove to you that it's talking about Muhammad, right? See? So if you, oh Muhammad, do you see it? Between brackets. It's not there in the Arabic, but that's what they are doing. They're putting tafsir, right? This is their interpretation inside the Quran. They're playing with the Quran. So they are adding. So if you, oh Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is praying on him. Allah is praying. Yes, Allah is praying on Muhammad. How can Allah pray? Well, you tell me, how can Allah pray? You tell me. Anyway, so if you, Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed unto you, that's the Quran, right? So if Muhammad is in doubt, guys, why would Muhammad be still in doubt? Why would Muhammad still be in doubt? This is not the first chapter that was given to him, right? Because the first ayah was Iqra, remember? Iqra, Iqra, read. Read, my enemy Qari Qari inside Cave Hira. My enemy Qari, I cannot read. Read, that's the first ayah. So why would Muhammad still be in doubt, guys? Why would Allah tell Muhammad if you are in doubt? Anyone? Can anyone tell me that? Why is Muhammad? Why could Muhammad be still in doubt after so many ayahs? Is is Allah not all knowing? Allah, how can you say to Muhammad, are you still in doubt? While you already given him many chapters, many ayahs already. Iqra, Iqra. Right? So if you read it, so if you are in doubt, Muhammad, concerning that which we have revealed unto you, why would Muhammad still be in doubt? Anyway, guys, anyway, i.e., right? that your name is written in the Torah and the Injil, then ask those who are reading the book before you, right? The Injil and the Torah. So guys, Muhammad needs to go to the Jews and the Christians, right? Did you catch it? Muhammad, if he's in doubt, he must go to the Jews and the Christians. Muhammad, that's what Allah is commanding him to do. If you are still in doubt, go to the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. So that means, the Jews and the Christians, guys, do you see the comedy here? Do you see the comedy? Why would Muhammad still be in doubt, number one? And why are you Muslims claiming that the Injil is lost? Well, Muhammad can go to the, to the book, to the people of the book who have the Injil. Yes. Hello? Yeah, are you that donkey who just uh, called me? Yes, yeah? You're Where did donkey. you hang up? Because you're a donkey, that's why. You're listen, calling me. Uh, listen, Habibi, Abdul. Habibi, if you no no, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not your Habibi. You, you just called Allah a liar and a deceiver. 
Yeah, you, you, you are the laugher boy. Huh? You, 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 wait, you are the wait. one who called Christian can Prince you... that all the day, right? You are that okay, one, yeah, the yeah, guy, yeah. right? Wait, wait. Yes, it's can you. you sh- okay. Listen, listen. Can, can, can no, you show no, me no, the... no, no, listen. no, 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 you can listen, you listen. listen. <laughs> if you are going to use full language, I'm going to spank you and send you back to Muhammad again. So okay, be no respectful. Problem. Okay, be okay, respectful. no problem. Okay, okay can you, wait, wait. Can you show me a reference that the uh, Arabian Christians in the time of Muhammad, they accused Muhammad of confirming a book which was contradicting to Islam? What? Go, come again? Can you show me reference of the Arabian Christians 1400 years ago of uh, accusing Muhammad of confirming a book which was contradicting the Quran to Islam? Does, the Quran says that, man. The Quran is confirming the Injil. Yes, but, but before the Injil, we go there, before we go there, wait, wait, wait. You made a claim. You said that the gospel is lost, right? The Injil yes. of Isa is lost. But how? Look, chapter 10, ayah 94. It's on the screen, right? Yes, in the time of Muhammad, they still had an Injil. Okay, so when, it, when did it got corrupted? When did it got lost? It's not corrupted, it's lost. There's a big when difference. Did, when did that happen by who? Lost. Give me the name of the, of the guy who did that and, <laughs> and when. When did that happen? Because clearly, according to this ayah, the gospel was in the hand of the, Jew, of the Christians and the Torah was in, in the hand of, of the Jews. In the time of Muhammad, in the time of Muhammad, 1400 years ago. So are you saying that a Christian and a Jew, they, con- uh, they conspired together and they created a time machine? Beat me up, Scotty. They went through all the Christian countries. Listen, can you no, show no, no, me no, a let reference? Me, let me can speak. you show me a let reference? Me, let listen. me speak. Let me speak. No, no, you, no, no, no. No, you listen. Listen. Show me, so show me according a to you, listen. Show me a reference. Idiot, listen. listen. No, you listen. listen. You, are, you, you listen. Are Shut Christian up. Shut 1400 up. years after Muhammad. Are you going to allow you me to call? You are a Christian 1400 are years you after Muhammad. Me to call? Are you Muhammad confirmed a Motorboard, you're not allowing him to call. There's no reason to continue. So guys, according to this donkey. No, don't stop calling me. According to this donkey here. Right? He dared, he had the audacity to call me donkey, right? Stop calling me idiot, I'm not going to pick up again. Since you're not allowing me to talk and finish what I'm saying, there's no need. So guys, watch, watch this comedy. This guy is claiming basically a Christian and a Jew. Do you want me to block you, man? Stop calling me. Do you want me to block you? You had your chance, call me another time. So this guy basically claiming that the Jews and the Christians conspired Okay, let me block him because this guy has no dignity. Let me block him. You have no, you have no dignity, man. So according to this guy, guys, in a nutshell, according to this guy, the Jews and the Christians, they created a time travel machine, right? A very, very powerful machine. They went to all the Christian and Jewish countries. They collected all the Qurans, like Uthman, uh, sorry, the, the, the Torah and Angel, like Uthman collected the Quran to burn it. That's what the Jews and the Christians did. They collected all the Bibles, the thousands and thousands of copies from Turkey, from Syria, from Iraq, all the countries in the Middle East. They put it on a pile and they burned the Angel. That's how it was lost. Can you, can, can you imagine, guys, what this guy's saying? That's what he's saying. You see? My friend, do you have any idea how many copies of the Injil and the Torah there were? Idiot. In the time of Muhammad. When and where and by who? Give me evidence. No evidence. Blah, 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 Allah, his, in, he did not only call Muhammad a liar, he called Allah a liar because Allah is saying, if you are in doubt, Muhammad, right? What is revealed to you, which is the Quran, go to the people of the book. Those are the Jews and the Christians, right? And see, they are adding, you see it? Adding what is not there. This part here, it's not, it's not in the Quran. They are adding. Everything between brackets is added, right? So if you are in doubt, let me switch the real, better translate. This is a garbage, man. Here. So if you are in doubt, Muhammad, right? It's talking about Muhammad. Regarding what we have sent down to thee, which is the Quran, ask those who recite the book before you. Who are those? The Jews and the Christians. The truth has come to thee from thy Lord. So be not of the doubters. So number one, again, from zero, guys. Why is Allah telling Muhammad if you are in doubt? How is this possible? Muhammad already received many chapters already. Remember? Before this chapter, many chapters already. How is Muhammad still in doubt? How is Allah not all-knowing? 
Point number one. Point number two, if the Injil and the Torah got corrupted, why is Allah commanding Muhammad to go to the people of the Gospel and the Torah because they have the Torah and the Gospel in uncorrupted form? Why would Allah tell, the, tell Muhammad to go to the people of the book if you Muslims claim that the Gospel and the Torah are corrupted? Do you see the logic of this Abdul here? Brother, the Torah and the Injil are corrupted and lost, brother. They are lost, brother. Not in the time of Muhammad. It seems, bro, these Jews and the Christians, they are powerful, man. They invented a time travel machine and they said, beat me up, Scotty. And they went into time and space, brother. And they collected all the, all the Bibles, brother, all the Torahs and Angels, brother. And they burned them. They made it lost, brother. Brother, you can't be serious. By who, brother? Who did that, brother? Who invented that time machine, travel machine, brother? I have no idea. Allahu alam, brother. Idiot, son of an idiot. Guys, thank you for the super chat. Dead Sea Scrolls confirm its preservation, perhaps. Yes. Thank you, you're correct. Chris Claus, you want, do you want me to call me, my friend? Chris Claus, are you with me, bro? Please call me. <clears throat> you idiots, man. Are you there, Chris Claus, bro? <clears throat> okay, call me. Hello, brother Chris. How are you, my friend? Not too bad. How are you doing, Rob? God bless you, brother. God bless you too, my friend. Guys, here, our brother, he's the same guy who debated Shabir Ali. This Shabir Ali and he spanked him. Please support our brother here. He's an amazing brother from the Paul Talk era. Chris Claus and I used to sit in one Paul Talk room and we were destroying Muslims <coughs> left and right. Go ahead, my friend. God bless you. <laughs> Excellent. So I, I just wanted to speak upon the uh, the gentleman that called that uh, is actually uh, questioning his his Islamic religion, yeah. and the question that he he called and asked you about Jesus being good. And sorry if you hear a toaster in the background. No, I'm actually just uh, sound is perfect, my, my friend. Wife and my daughter. No, no, sound is perfect, my friend. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> so he 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 claims that uh, Jesus says that he is not good. Uh, mm. Going to Mark ten. Now, the problem with him doing that, though, is mm. that when we go to Psalms 23, mm. we read that God is the good shepherd. Yes. God is the good shepherd, indeed. Yeah. Amen. So, when we go to John, yeah. John, in that gospel, identifies Jesus as the good shepherd. Which verse, my friend? I want to put it on the screen. Which verse? Just Thumb give me one second, my brother. I just have that breakfast on the go. Yeah, I, I just woke up myself a couple hours ago, man. It's still, it's still early, I know, bro. It's still early, I know. It is uh, John 10. I believe it's in between 1 and 21. Let's see. Let me put it on the screen. Just a second. Bear with me, brother. Bear with me. Let's see. KGV version. All right. Okay. Do you want to read it or shall I read it? <coughs> Oh, you, you can go ahead and read it, sir. Okay, John 10, verse 20 to 23. And many of them said, He, I think it's talking about Jesus, right? Correct me if I'm mistaken. He had the devil, and he is mad. Why hear ye him? Or well, others said, Though these are not the words of him that had, that had a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Verse 22. And it was, and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon porch. Go ahead, Mike. All right, so the parallel that I, I, I would draw from um, Jesus being good mm -hmm. is in when in Mark, um, the, the teacher says, good teacher, and Jesus replies, why do you call me good? Only God is good. We know that only God is good because of Psalms 23, that he is the good shepherd, mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth throughout the Old Testament. Yeah. So the good shepherd or the shepherd would be the identification of God leading the herd, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what Jesus actually claims for himself in the Gospel of John. So mm -hmm. if God is the only good shepherd, then Jesus is claiming divinity by claiming to be the good shepherd that lays down his life for the sheep. Yeah. Which again, 
I think you're We're talking, talking about John, John 10 uh, to 11, 13, maybe it's better to go to. I am the good shepherd, said Jesus, right? I am yes. the good shepherd. That one, okay. Yes. You see, so Jesus called himself good. You see? Continue. And then that's just to answer the, and that's just to answer the gentleman yeah. uh, that called you in, because he's actually, he's questioning Islam, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And, I, yeah, I, and, he, and you heard him, right? He left, basically left Islam because he agreed. Right? He said, uh, Allah cannot be God if he makes mistake. And he, 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 he agreed, right? Yeah. So he left Islam. He actually left Islam. No, yeah. and the only thing is, is that we will mm -hmm. pray that he comes to the knowledge of the triune God, the mm -hmm. only true God. My friend, someone in the live chat, someone in the live oh. chat says he's praising the Father. Is this talking about the Father or the Son, my friend? John 10, 11 to 13. Some, some, a Muslim, I think it's a Muslim in the live chat who is lying. Please rebuke yeah. him, my friend. De definitely in John 10, it is not mm -hmm. speaking about the father being the good shepherd. The son is being identified as the good shepherd yeah. in comparison of God being the good shepherd within Psalms 23. Exactly. So the only comparison that you could logically draw from this mm -hmm. is that Jesus is claiming divinity in the identification of the good shepherd, the one that laid yeah. down his life for the sheep. Amen. So if this is speaking about the father, then the father must have laid down the, his life for the sheep. Yeah. But we know it was the son. So who's that's talking, why we know. Who's talking here? Who, who is the one saying, I'm the good shepherd? Is it, this, is it Jesus himself or someone else? Just it to is confirm. Jesus himself. It's Jesus talking. You liar. <laughs> liar. Who is this guy who's, who's uh, putting words? It's, the, it's Jesus talking, not the father, you idiot. Continue. <laughs> So just to follow up with that, though, Rob, is I just want that gentleman that called in that that um, already left Islam yeah. is because us Christians, that's what we want to do is we want to what you're doing, Rob, is you're preaching the truth of Islam. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're backing these Muslims up into a corner. Yeah. And once we get them into that corner and they acknowledge yeah. that Islam is false, instead of dropping the boulder in front of them, we want to open up that door, shine yeah. some light in there. So that yeah. they're able to come out of that darkness, exactly. and I'm ho hoping that, and I'm hoping that answering this gentleman's question yeah. and that showing him that Jesus is the good shepherd, in Amen. and is identified as God, yeah. um, may lead him into Christianity, yeah. even though, you know, let's just pray that the Holy Spirit, Amen, of course, works Amen. Him. Amen. This, uh, has been planted. this is why I God said God. after after the call with that gentleman who who basically left Islam, he, he said yes. You ag I agree with you because this cannot God, this cannot be God who contradict himself. So he already left Islam, and, uh, and thank you for answering his question. Uh, by the way, right? Because uh, I, I wanted to show him, right? I'm a guy. To be honest with you, I'm a guy. When you say something, I'm going to use it against your prophet in a law, in, in 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 the court of law. That's my that's my style. You say something, I'm going to use it against your prophet, right? And thank you for jumping in, my friend, to show to answer his question. Jesus did not say, Jesus did not say, I'm not good. No, he said he's good. And the proof is in front of you, right? John 10, 11. I am the good shepherd, right? Jesus is the one who's talking here. And not only that, he says, he, he's, he, he did not come to kill or destroy. He came to, what he said, I come that they might have life. So he's the life giver. He's the one who gives life, right? So he's the life giver. This is why Jesus said, I am the life. So he's, he's the life giver and he is the good shepherd. He is good. All right. Thank you, uh, Chris Claus. Thank you for calling, my friend. Amen. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. He is the life bringer. You see that these are deity claims, man. Can someone say I'm good? No, you're all sinners. Except Jesus. He is the good one. We cannot say we are good because we are full of sins, right? But Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I am the one who gives life. Do you see it? Are these words of a mere man, guys? Are these words of a mere man? Or is this God talking? Is this Jesus talking? He is God. He's claiming to be God. And he accepted worship, right? We already showed you that. Right? People worship Jesus. He did not say to them, no, no, don't worship me. You see it? Is, is this a mere man who is accepting worship? No. 
And they called him the son of God. Did, they, did he rebuke them? No. Daud Kim got barbecued together with his uh, Sheikh Al Azari Sheikhi Sheikh, man. Right, he already got barbecued. Let let us go to the <clears throat> to the YouTube video, guys. Maybe we can spank him even more. So, guys, we showed you, right? If we go back, this is Sheikhi Sheikh says, if you saw it already, he's talking about Jesus falling with his face on the floor, brother. Let me go a little bit back for the people who missed it. Let me replay this. 엄청 힘든 시기에 바닥에 엎드려서 머리를 바닥에 대고 기도를 했어요. 어 완전. 예, 무슬리처럼. 왜냐하면 제가 그 성경 읽을 때 선지자들과 심지어 예수께서도 바닥에 엎드려서 기도를 했어요. It's like a Muslim, brother. 그래서도 이제 바닥에 엎드렸죠. Including Jesus. Do you see it, guys? Did you do you see how he is calling Jesus a Muslim? Do you see it? Do you see how he is calling Jesus a Muslim? So I fell on the floor. 엎드렸죠. 너무 힘드니까 마음이 mm. 정말 신께서 계신 엎드렸죠. 선지자들과 심지어 예수께서 See? Because the Bible says that the prophets including Jesus fell on the floor and prayed. This is a harsh claim, you idiot. Do you have any idea what you're saying here? Mr. Shaky Sheikh, Mr. Abdullah Al-Kuri, Al-Kuri, which means the Korean. Right? Abdullah the Korean, that's what he's calling himself. This Shaky Al-Azhari Sheikh. Shaky Sheikh, right? Shake, shake, shake. Do you have any idea what you're saying here? So you're saying that Jesus is praying like you Muslims. Let's wait. We will not allow you to get away with it. We are not allowing you to go away with it, man. We are here to spank you. Whenever you talk, we're going to use it against you in the court of law. Korean shaky shake. Al-Kuri, brother. Al-Azhar. He claims to be a scholar, man. Matthew 26, verse 39. Going a little farther, he, Jesus, fell with his face to the ground. Right? This is talking about Jesus. And prayed. How did he pray? My father, if it's possible, may this cup be taken from me. My father. No Muslims. Any Muslim here who is listening. When you pray, do you pray to the father? Like Jesus does? Let, uh, Muslims, we don't. When you when you quote these verses, we have no issue that Jesus is praying to the Father. But here is the one million dollar question. Muslims, listen carefully. When you pray to Allah, do you pray to Him and call Him Father, like Jesus does? No, you don't. Chapter five, I eighteen is clearly stating, Allah claims to be not the Father of mankind, and He's actually cursing the Jews and the Christians. Who call him father right chapter 9 ayah 30 remember Allah is saying may Allah destroy them who the Jews and the Christians right chapter 9 ayah 30 chapter 9 ayah 30 may Allah destroy them Allah is saying for saying that Jesus is the son of God right do you see so when Jesus is praying to the father is he praying like you you evil liars you shaky shake you evil son of Satan, why are you putting words inside the mouth of Jesus? Did Jesus pray like you? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He calls God his father. He's talking to the father. Do you talk to Allah and he's your father? No, he's not. Idiot. You see the shaky shake? How many strikes? Guys, how many strikes did we give him already? How, did, how many strikes did we give the Sheikh of Daud Kim already? How many? I lost count, guys. Mr. Daud Kim, why are you allowing a shaky shake to do dupe you, to fool you? Idiot. Don't be an idiot, man. Mr. Rashido, why are you allowing Islam to dupe you? 77, guys, 77 dislike. This is a new record, man. Muslims are triggered. Muslims are triggered. That's good, man. Yeah, how many, how many strikes? Seven? Wow, I, sorry, sorry guy, I lost count. I'm not counting. You shaky shake, why are you lying about Jesus? Huh? When you pray, do you pray to the Father like Jesus? No. And guys, pay attention. No Christian has an issue that Jesus is praying to the Father. Why? Because Jesus in the flesh 
is that is his way of communicating with the father he is talking communicating with to the father with the father we don't have any issue with that this is scripture right 78 dislikes and counting good guys good i like it i like dislikes that means we are doing a lot of damage today muslims don't like it that's good right we don't have any issues with jesus praying to the father because in christianity when you pray you are communicating that's our way of communicating so jesus when he was praying to the father he said my father is allah father certainly not that this already when jesus says my father here jesus is already barbecuing muhammad he is destroying Muhammad, he is destroying Allah, because Jesus, Jesus is certainly not Isa, because Isa has no father, Jesus does. This proves that your Isa cannot be our, our Jesus. This proves that your prophet cannot be our prophet. This proves that Allah cannot be our God, because our God is Father, remember? Whenever you go to this verse, we can use it against your prophet in the court of law, Muslims. Don't ever, don't ever go to Matthew 26, verse 39. Never do that, Muslims, because we are spanking your prophet with it. We can turn it against you in the court of law. Christians, Christians, please learn how to debate Muslims and learn how not to debate Muslims. Whenever they quote such verses, use it against their prophet in the court of law, guys. You get, use it against their Allah. Christians learn, learn how to debate Muslims. Learn, all right? And please, like I said to you in, in before we started, you can find the YouTube channels of the Daud Kim. You can find the YouTube channel of Mr. Uh, this kid here, Rashido, and their shaky shake, Mr. Abdullah Al Kuri. You have a job to do, Christians. Spread our videos. In the Korean YouTube section, do your bidding, do your job, man. Don't be lazy, Christians. If you Christians unite, if we Christians unite, Islam will die in two years. I give it maximum two years. Remember what Bilal Philip said, guys? It will hit Islam nation like a tsunami, like an avalanche. I didn't say it. Bilal Phillips, the shaky shake in Canada said it. It will knock us over, right? They know it's coming. They know the tsunami is coming. They know that avalanche is coming. It's over. Islam is dying. They know it. Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. But there are some poor idiots like these two who might get duped, who might get fooled by the Arab code called Islam. It's happening, guys. Muslims, you know it's coming. It will knock you over, as Bilal Philip said. You know it's coming for you. You cannot do anything about it. The internet is the biggest enemy of Islam. Yeah, poor people, man. Poor people who are like to, like these two poor people, guys. Christians, please, for the love of God, help me to help you. Do, do what you gotta do. I'm not asking you to teach. I'm only asking you to do what you have to do. You know what you have to do. You know it. I don't want to sound like a broken record, guys. I really don't. But you know what you have to do. Islam is finished, man. And by this, guys, we conclude our, basically, our live show. Do we have any other callers, guys? Are there more callers? Are there Muslims? Are there Christians who wants to call? Accept this call. <clears throat> yes, hello. Please mute YouTube, sister. Please mute YouTube. Only talk through hello? Skype, please. Yeah, hello. You're live on air. Go ahead, sister. <clears throat> uh, I want to ask you about. Uh, sister, are you a Muslim or a Christian? Just to be sure. Uh, I'm Christian. Oh, you're Christian. Oh, welcome. You're live on air, sister. Go ahead. 
yeah as we know that uh god asks we are to go according uh, um matthew yes matthew 20, yeah 28 yeah you know Ten. you know that first right yeah Mat matthew 10 28 you said right yeah matthew 28 verse 19 right matthew 28 verse 19 oh 28 verse 19 that's what you're saying right just 19. To, yeah, 19. yeah okay let me put it on the screen just a second sister just a second just so people can see it matthew 28 19 yes go ahead yeah uh you want to read it yeah let let me see okay okay go there therefore and make disciples of all the nations yes right but yes. how we can we uh, we can uh, reach out to them if we if we are not know about them yeah yeah the thing is um that's what i'm tr always I, trying I mean, to say not, yeah. i mean uh not, not suddenly uh we we go and talk to them Yeah. Your religion is false. You know your religion is right. It's, yeah. it's, it's not false, right? Yes, exactly. So how the way to reach that? Yeah, let me tell you how, sister. I have, I have, let's say, around 15 years of experience debating Muslims, talking to Muslims. We do this every week, right? Every, almost every day, right? Yeah. I learned, I, lo I learned from my 15 years experience. Muslims mm -hmm. are different, they are different kind of people. They are not like you and me, to be honest with you. And I'm talking from experience. Muslims, if you want to share the gospel with them, right? Because this is the mm -hmm. gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Matthew 28, mm -hmm. 19 is the gospel. If you want to share the yeah. gospel with them, from my experience, Muslims are not, most of the Muslims are not open for it. You have to, if you want to share the gospel with them, you have to first destroy the Islamic wall. You have to destroy the Islamic wall that they built around them. Because when they are born in this man-made code of them, right, Islam, they are not open for the gospel. So to, to be open for the gospel, you have to destroy that wall that they built around them through during their life, during their many years being a Muslim. How do you do that? By exposing Islam. That's how we do it. We go to the Quran, we go to the Sunnah, we go to the Hadith to expose Muhammad. When you expose Muhammad, like the gentleman who called me earlier, when you show them that the Quran is false, then, then they can be open to the gospel. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Yeah. But mostly That's how. Uh, That's how. they are reject. Yeah. So they, yeah, they reject, they reject the gospel in the beginning because that's what their imams told them. Don't read the gospel. Don't read the Injil. Don't read the Torah. That's what they are telling them because, you know, if you read the gospel, maybe they, you leave Islam and you become a Christian. So they are warning them to not read the Bible. So how do you, how can you reach to them? How? By destroying mm -hmm. Islam first, by showing that Muhammad is a false prophet, then you can show the gospel to them. That's how. You understand? Yeah, I understand. But mm -hmm. uh, how the good way to reach them? Because uh, I'm Christian and I don't know at all yeah. about the Quran. Yeah. Impossible. I I can uh, destroy them. Yeah, this is this is when polemics come to into into play. The word polemics, mm -hmm. you know, it's defense and attack. Defense and attack. The best attack comes from defense. If you watched football, let me give you an example. Football or uh, a soccer, you know, that's how they call it in Europe. When you when you want to play a game, right, especially a contact game like soccer or football, the best attack is defense, right? If you have a good defense, let's say, if you know your Bible inside out, then you can use attack. So you, you when you have a good foundation, you can go and learn about Islam, because if they're going to try to attack Christianity, attack the Bible, like we showed earlier by using their attack they are attacking matthew 26 39 for example they are saying look look jesus is praying like the muslim no wait wait when jesus is praying he's talking to the father do you talk to the father no. so by using their own argument against them and against the prophet in the court of law this is how you can use defense you understand so here polemics polemics is the key 
right? Use their attack okay. against their prophet in the court of law. That's how you do it. So learn, sister. Learn from our videos. Learn from how we do that. Right? Okay. Uh, once, once uh, John 3, verse 16. Yes. What may, you may you open for me? John? John 3, yes. verse 16. 16. Okay, just a second. <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen to that. What do you want to say about it? Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, can you explain me? Uh, he gave his only begotten son. What, yes. what the meaning of begotten son? The meaning of begotten son means here the only son, right? The only unique son. That's what it means. The only begotten son, the only unique son. Is there someone else like Jesus? No. He's the, he's the, there's only one Jesus, right? So he's the mm -hmm. only begotten son from the Father. You need to understand that Jesus is the Word of God, right? John 1, 1, right? In the beginning was the yeah. Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God or was God right and then if we go to verse 14 it says that that same word became flesh and dwelt out among us glory to that word so this very word of God that existed with the father from the very beginning when G when God was creating and he was speaking that spoken word is Jesus so that same word right that same word that comes from the father it's the same word that came into the flesh and that's 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 the only begotten son right there Right. Uh, okay. So and Jesus is not. It's not like the Muslims think, right? If you go to the Quran, if we go to the Quran, guys, mm -hmm. Allah, Allah <laughs> says, how can he have a son if he has no girlfriend? Yes, that's what the Quran is saying. If he has no sahiba, girlfriend. So Muhammad, he had no clue what the Bible is saying. We don't believe that Jesus, that God, God forbid, that the Father had sex, uh, sex with Mary. And that's how Jesus is conceived. No, that's blasphemy. That's an insult. But Muhammad is is a fake prophet. He has no idea what is what the Bible is saying. All right. So yeah, Jesus, as the eternal Word of God, existed with the Father from the very beginning. He's not created. He existed from the very beginning. John one one. Let me show you. Right. Let me show the people. Just a second, yeah. sister. Um, right. Just a second, just a second. The last question, yeah. Yeah, just the a last second. Question. Yeah, just a second, just a second. Let me just put it on the screen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Do you see it? So the Word is God. The same begotten Son is that Word. If we continue, it says, He was in the beginning with God. Do you see it? He was in the beginning. He, who? It's not an it. It's he was the word in the beginning with God. Who? The word. And if we continue read, if we continue read, in him who in the word was life and the life was the light of men. And if we continue reading in verse 14, it says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and beheld his glory. Do you see? It's not some common word. It's the word of God who became flesh, who gives life, who is life giving. Glory to that word. All right. Yeah. Sister, um, uh, if you don't mind, please call me another time. I, I, we are going much outside of the topic, right? And I'm getting really, really tired, okay? I'm really getting tired. We are already live for three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you for calling. You. Call me another time, sister. God bless you. Yeah, and guys, I'm getting tired, right? I'm getting tired. We are already live for how long? For three hours and four minutes, yeah. My voice is gone, you, hear, you are hearing it, right? Today we showed you that these poor victims, guys, that they are duped by a liar and deceiver, by their Imam Al-Khuri, right? Abdullah Al-Khuri, the liar and deceiver that today we spanked him. We gave him, you know, the benefit of the doubt. We said, before we started, we said, let me give him three strikes, right? If, if we can show you three strikes, it's over for the shaky shake. And we destroyed him, right? Guys, everything is in the description box. Christians, please, for the love of God, help me to help you. Share our, our video like wildfire. 
go to their YouTube channels and post the link. Let them see that they have been duped by Islam, by the cult called Islam, the sex cult of Muhammad, right? And we showed you how Muhammad was beating Aisha, right? We showed you that. Muhammad was beating Aisha. He struck me on the chest which caused me pain. And we showed you that the father of Aisha Abu Bakr also violently was manhandling his daughter. And she says, I was in pain. Do you see it? That hit. Do you see it? They, are, they were using her as a punching bag, man. Poor Aisha. Right? Even dogs today don't get beaten, man. Poor Aisha. Poor Aisha. And you say, you know, strike them with a, with a toothbrush, brother? I think we should ask Muhammad and Abu Bakr why they did not use a toothbrush when they were manhandling Aisha. Right? Aisha sing. He struck me with a box. Remember what the Sheikh said, guys? For the people who came later. Let me pray that sp small part and we will wrap this up, guys. Let me go there just a second. Right. Just to show you guys. Look, you see the hand? <laughs> قال لا تخبريني أو ليخبرني أو ليخبرني اللطيف الخبير. He's reading from Sahih Muslim, right? Sahih Muslim. الله تبارك وتعالى. قال قلت يا رسول الله بأبي أنت وأمي فأخبرته بينت له ما هو. قال فأنت السواد الذي رأيت أمامي. You are the shadow that I saw. Muhammad is saying to Aisha. في جوف الليل وشاهد سوادا يتحرك. Sahih Muslim guys. فلهدني في صدري لهدة لهدة أوجعتني أوجعتني do you see it فلهدني في صدري لهدة أوجعتني so Aisha saying Muhammad struck her with a fist inside her chest and it caused her pain a lot of pain again what did the Sheikh say وشاهد سوادا يتحرك like he was using her like a punching bag man لهدني في صدري لهدة أوجعتني أوجعتني cause me to feel pain a lot of pain هذا الصدر you see واللهدة boxing ضرب بجمع الكف هذا الكف اجمعه yeah make it a, a fist box box برادا فرسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله شنو سو شنو يصير يصير box 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 برادا فرسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله شنو سو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله شنو سوى بوكس انطل عائشة في صدرها in her chest bam brother بوكس قوي بحيث هي تصرح بوكس قوي you know what بوكس قوي means very hard punch you know like a boxing match بوكس قوي do you hear it بوكس انطل عائشة في صدرها in her chest بوكس قوي بحيث بوكس قوي very powerful قوي means powerful hard punch Basically a high punch, right? If you played Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat back in the old days, guys, <laughs> fighting games, high punch. Box قوي, brother. Hadouken! Hadouken! Funny how you say it. He hurt her. Where is the toothbrush? Where is the toothpick, brother? Toothbrush, brother. Toothbrush, brother. So we need to hurt Aisha today, yeah, because she lied about Muhammad, right? If you go to the Hadith, guys, let us go to the Hadith. Muhammad was lied to by Aisha, right? She lied to him, right? You see, she says there is nothing. So he's asking, was it you, Aisha? Was that you? Oh Aisha, that you out of bed? Is that was that you was spying on me? She says, no, there's nothing. It wasn't me. Right? There's nothing. She says, it's not, it wasn't me. And then he said, if you're not going to tell me, right, the subtle and the way will inform me. Then Muhammad said, she said, Messenger of Allah, may my father and mother be ransomed for you. And then I told him those. Now finally she came clean. Yes, it was me. 
And then what did what was his response? He struck me on the chest with a fist, right? As the sheikhs just told you, that caused me pain. Where is the toothbrush? Muslims, where is the maswak of Muhammad? Did Muhammad use a maswak? <laughs> did Muhammad use a maswak? No, brother. He did not use a toothbrush, brother. He used a fist, brother. All right? Just for the people, you know, just, just to make sure. For the people who didn't see it. With what? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Ah, sawa? box, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Shunu sawa? Box. Box. <laughs> box. Oh, box. Qawi bihaith hiya tusarrah taqul. Awja'atni. Awja'atni. It hurt me. Awja'aha. Would a toothbrush. Guys, would a toothbrush. Would a toothpick or a toothbrush. Hurt someone? No. This is a box. What? What was it, Sheikh? Box. A box. قوي بحيث هي تصرح تقول أوجعتني. أوجعتني. That hurt me. أوجعها. He hurt her. طربا. Because she lied to him. He was disciplining her like a dog that she is. Right? Aisha is a dog, right, people? Muslims. Aisha was a dog, so Muhammad needed to treat treat her like a dog. By using her as a punching bag? Yeah, what, what, what an evil. Hit me, baby. You know, Aisha became a punching bag, brother. You see it? What an evil cult. What an evil cult, man. Please, Muslims, leave Islam, man. What an evil cult, man. How can you allow a woman to be beaten like this, man, in 2020, man? Try not to get crazy, man. Shame on you, Muslims, man. Following such an evil beating of women cult. Six cult. Women are nothing but cows to be ridden. Remember the hadith? Women are nothing but fields to be plowed. Women are nothing, uh, only good for, for, for sex and, you know, be pregnant. They are fields to be plowed, brother. Put your seed in them and that's it. Make jihadi kids. Yeah, make jihadi kids. That's what, what women are good for in Islam. To produce jihadis so they can fight fi sabil Allah. Right? For the sake of Allah. Become jihadi terrorists, brother. That's what Islam are good for. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for the donations. Without you, we cannot do this. Guys, please spread this video like wildfire. Please. Don't, don't do it for me. Do it for the truth. Do it for this... Poor victims, right? Poor victims. Do it for them. Don't do it for me. Right? Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. God bless you, guys. And Lord willing, we will see each other again in a future live show. God bless.